Yo, I am the Sandman, and you're listening to Jobber Radio Podcast. Solutions for life, motherfuckers. It's Jobber Radio. It's Jobber Radio. It's Jobber Radio. It's Jabber Radio. It's Jabber Radio. It's Jabber Radio. It's Jabber Radio. Bitches. Alright, you guys want to know where I'm at? <laughs> yes. yes, actually, we fucking do. It's not earned at all. It's just, they're just going to give it to Hangman Page because he's in the Elite. Why what? is that so CZW to me? Hey, did you know Drew Gulak's brother was Little Mondo? Alright, well, that's... Jesus! What's going on, everybody? Oh. Welcome to Ja. I don't know who said something, but welcome to Java Radio, <laughs> episode number one hundred. All right, we're gonna do the introductions, and then we're gonna get into it. First of all, I am Jake, aka Bomber, and we do not have Peanut here. That's the first announcement because the motherfucker is on his phone. He's trying to get in. He's somewhere in a hotel, drunk on two blue moons, um, and he's not here right now. But he's gonna continue to try. But who is here? First of all, Scott. Scott, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm also confused. I'm first, kind of. Okay, sure. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. In reverse order of importance, then. Or? Oh, <laughs> oh, well, man. that's well, that's why I started wow. with peanut. Wow, so. wow. Okay, no, that. Mm, damn. All right, not even, not even reverse first. Well, okay. in that case, we also have Rab here tonight. Rab, how are you doing? I ah, really so I can... can't be that important. I'm barely ever here. Well, that, you know. Well, at least you're being honest. At least you're being honest. How are you doing tonight, though? You doing all right? Uh, I'm well. Hurricane preparedness, you know. Oh. A hurricane might land in Jacksonville. The hurricane might hit us. It might be a sev, you know, a, a category one. It might be category five. People are in the streets. You know, people are fighting yep. over gasoline and water. Well, it's a good and, thing we're doing this now. Well, yeah, yeah. All prepared. <laughs> I went out this morning, and everything's yeah. all good. I got water, and I got pop tarts, and. Uh, Peanuts, but not actual peanut, because apparently he doesn't know how to join a fucking chat, even though we've done this a hundred fucking times. Yeah. Uh, well, to be fair, you know, he's only done it like twenty. So. <laughs> yeah. So. But, but besides yeah. all of that, I'm very glad to be here with all of you. Oh, well, good, good. And uh, we also have Lee. Lee, how uh, happy are you here to uh, to be here tonight? Well, it's been a hard hundred episodes. I'm glad I was able to take this obscure podcast from the very beginning and bring it to what it is today. A, a podcast with 100 episodes, even though it's only been like 30 years. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, uh, I, I'm glad I've been able to be the the brand leader and, 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 and bring it up to the major leagues from the fucking mud show. And uh, you guys can continue to ride my coattails. It'll be pretty good. Well, first of all, yeah, thank you for everything you've done, uh, obviously. That, that, was, that was real good of you, Scott. <laughs> there, there you go. Getting that out early, huh? Keep, right. Keeping the gimmick alive, <laughs> even a hundred episodes deep. So we also have. Uh, I don't think I've heard a peep yet. Matt Zion. Matt Zion is here. Believe it or not, how are you doing? We haven't heard your voice in a while. Ooh, ah! Oh my god! The big dog go. is back. Oh uh, responsibilities god. kept me away, but I've been resigned. I was actually uh, in AEW's podcast, uh, but Bomber finally gave me a lucrative. Uh, you know, a deal. So here I am. That actually makes so, sense now that you mention it. Yeah. Less Roman, more Brock. I see. Yeah. Sure. Well, good Hello. deal. Well, we are for the most part almost all here. And wait, wait, wait. Before we move on. Yes. Bomber, how do you feel to be here for a hundred? You uh, never get to answer these kind of questions. Oh no. Um, I am super excited. I have put in. Um, you know. A little bit of effort over the time, and I'm happy that we actually made it to 100. I didn't. I actually didn't think we would make it to 100, so I'm pretty happy that we did, and that's pretty exciting to me. So, kind of uh, some sort of and, and you mean like at 99, you didn't think we were going to make it to 100? Actually, yes, closer to that. In the once we got to the <laughs> 90s, I'm like, okay, see if we can just at least get to 100, and then we'll call it quits. Then we'll do that. Oh, we're, I'm just kidding. We're not calling it quits. That I know no, of. 
we got to do at least a yeah, dozen be... more because Lee and I joined late, so we're not at a hundred ourselves yet. That's true. So... That's true. Yeah. And don't be don't be throwing that quit shit at yeah. people take it seriously at this point. Apparently, uh, uh, you know what? There's there's <laughs> been some interesting things that's been floating around on Java Radio, so that is true. Uh, but yes, uh, this is episode 100. We're gonna take a little trip down memory lane. I'm gonna tell you when our first ever episode was, and yes, unfortunately, Lee and Scott were not a part of the show. It was episode. It wasn't good yet. That's true. Uh, I, rem- I remember like yesterday. It was two years ago we started this podcast. Yeah, it was very straight. Clearly, because it's bi-weekly and there were 100 yeah, episodes. Yeah, of course. So it, makes, Why, you, yeah, how it wouldn't, wouldn't take it was, eight was, years to do this many. So the date was October 2nd, 2012. Oh. So t- October 2nd, 2012 Celebr- was our first Celebrating. ever episode. Celebrating five years, seven years in the making. Yes, seven years it took us to get to this point, roughly, and uh, we finally did make it. In this first episode, Rab, you were not on the first episode. I don't even know if you remember that or not. I'm fully aware I was not on the first episode. You were obviously in our you know, our, our crew, and you were in the, the theme song. Well, that's opening. what I was going to say, is that this isn't even like, this is the offshoot of the previous version, which was for the uh, wrestling music video competition. So we were doing this like two years before that as well. Yeah, we were reviewing music videos on, I think it was like several different websites at that point. Yeah. It was, it was going for a while. The uh, only one I can remember is Wrestle Fury, so <laughs> that part of March of my life is dead. There was so I don't many, think yeah. that, we, we, we did not have this podcast in Wrestle Fury. Yeah, I just don't remember anything but Wrestle Fury. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, I, I could that, give you a whole, we should make that, this, never mind, guys. This it was A2. No, no, nobody cares, let's podcast. move on. <laughs> yeah. But instead it's going to be about the history of the wrestling music video. Yeah, you know, super from, niche uh, thing that all of us were doing when we were getting like, yeah. to about you know, 2012. Yeah, I think I started yeah, like 2005 uh, or four or something like that. So oh yeah, I did that shit in um in the first year of high school is when I started that. So no, we don't need yeah. to talk about that though. Yeah. I was say, do you know how many episodes that was? Because suddenly this is a stealth uh, like 38th episode of that. It was <laughs> actually I think we had. I wish Peanut was here because Peanut was the host at this time. Yeah, he he would know. He was running all. I think we did 12 episodes of. That. I was going to say the anniversary episode. So there you go. Episode 13. Here we go. Yeah. Um, but, uh, anyway, on that first ever episode, I, I went back and listened to it, uh, not very long ago, cause I wanted to hear how, like how bad it was, or, you know, when you always think back to your very first, it was terrible and everything. So I wanted to go back and listen to it. And actually I, I didn't remember any of it. So it was like brand new and I was laughing the entire time. It was just me. Zion and Peanut on there. Peanut did a horrible job as always hosting because that's how he does. It was so awkward and hilarious. Hopefully you guys like his awkwardness because I do. Um, and Matt Zion, you said something on that show that I it, that it kind of really hit me as far as your current state of wrestling. Um, yeah. You said on, on this show, on that show, sorry, on episode one, uh, I suggest people go back and check it out if you haven't. But um, Matt Zion, you said that we we all talked about what got us into wrestling, like what was our you know introduction into wrestling and everything. And you said no matter how bad wrestling gets, no matter how terrible it gets, you'll it, you'll always love it, you'll always watch it, you'll never give up on it. And look yeah. at the state that we're in now. What is happening? Oh, I never gave up on it. I took a break because I needed a break because I was it was an abusive relationship. That's the problem. Oh. They were abusing me, and I was an abused housewife. And I had to take a break. So I was just tired of being angry and upset with just how fucking boring and awful it had been. So I never stopped, though. Like Even when I didn't watch it, I've been like, I'll always check out the results or I'll go on YouTube and I'll watch like little clips and stuff. But I just there's just no point in keeping up with something that's that bad because it really has been it's getting a little better now. But the last, what, six months have been probably the worst I've ever seen the product in my entire life of watching it. Like it was just unbearable bad. Boring is the problem, I guess. It was just dull. That's true. But, it, it's yeah. weird though that the pay per views have still been like good. Yeah, pretty solid. But I mean, yeah. you, you don't have. I too keep much up story. with the pay per views. Like I'll watch them, but I don't. It's Raw and SmackDown that have just been. I think the. I mean, we've talked about it before. The problem is they're just too damn long. There's too much of it. There's too. It's too long. Uh, and it's just not, there's only so much time in the day. So you have to dedicate and allocate your, you know, time to certain things and <laughs> forcing myself to force feed WWE. Vince's WWE was not on the agenda. Yeah. Um, uh, I was trying to go back and see the first episodes that Scott and Lee were on. I believe Lee, who came. I, I, I know this is bad of me. Who, which one of you came on first? I believe it was Lee, correct? I think Lee by an episode. 
It was very yeah. close because, uh, I mean, you know, just being honest, we're just bringing it out here. You guys were our backup plan because me, Peanut, yep. Rabbit, we were like, okay, if somebody doesn't show up, we'll we'll throw somebody on. I brought you both in. Yeah, and it was uh, Zion was our uh, uh, lethal us. poison. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> the NW no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Um, uh, yeah, no. If I'm show, correct, it's actually on our been, profile. The show has been it. worse for it, so thanks. <laughs> oh, well, at least we've been able to do the shows. That's what I will say. That's that's what I'm saying. Um, uh, yeah, I, is it on your profile? Is that what it is? I hate that I'm it is. And like on this. the crew, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, there it is. The crew. I hate how I think I'm this. episode nine. It was the China one. <laughs> Oh, the China, the one that chi- the when China died. Oh, sorry, oh no. God. Episode twenty six was for me. Lee was episode eighteen. There yeah, you go. Yeah, I was going to say we definitely it, did. More and that was it. called Peanuts Replacement. <laughs> yeah, there <laughs> it is. <laughs> Mine was the China tribute because Matt brought me in. Like, you busy? No. Yeah, the, with the You're night. Gonna be China on a podcast night. like ten minutes. Okay. Oh, so you came in when I won the first death pool. That's good. That's yeah. Good. yeah. That's, a highlight. That's not something to be proud of. Well, you know. Yes. By the way, before we continue, rest yes. in peace, Ric Flair. Uh, he won't last any longer than a couple of months because he's uh, he's gonna die. What are you? T- are you are you just throwing shit out? There? He's back something? on the drinking train again, and he's like partying on his Instagram, oh, and yeah, he's done. Fuck. He's done for. I think oh, he's yeah, just accepted it. that the end is near. So. Let's go, yeah. Ric Flair. I love you. Yeah, he, he's or... going out the way he went in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be yeah. one or two nights out in the bar of Cena. And I don't blame him. I would do the yeah. same thing. Like if they're t- they're like, yeah. hey, you know, you you need to change your whole lifestyle, and you might live an extra year. Ah, fuck that. <laughs> Let's just yeah. or enjoy that year. Yeah, yeah. Don't own on his own terms. <laughs> I don't blame him. Yeah. No. I. I mean, I think that's when he's at his strongest, though. Honestly, I think that's no. What I, think I don't. No, I don't. Oh, okay. He literally Come the now. opposite. That's what happens when you have a stroke and heart attacks okay. and die. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, none of us have him in the death pool, so I mean, you know, just just want to. Yeah, unfortunately, him. I should have thought long term. I picked his kid. What an idiot! <laughs> well, I mean, I, I still think <laughs> you're close. You, out of the people that uh, were selected, you and Dory Funk Jr. or sorry, David Flair and uh, Dory yeah. Funk Jr. Are the leading. I really forgot who I'm trying to kill. This you time. have Jeff Hardy. <laughs> you have Jeff Hardy. <laughs> That's a good bet. Hey, yeah. you're you're, getting, say, you're taking him down by pieces. You're talking about as long as he keeps going to Myrtle Beach. As long as he keeps going to Myrtle Beach, he should be in good shape. Dory Funk Jr., you need to fucking die. Everyone knows your wife is a cunt. You need to get away from her. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 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 Jesus. I, good wow. Lord. We oh, went, hey, we went don't personal. do that. He listens to this podcast. That's right. David Flair, don't you let Lee destroy this for me. Please die. Well, let's be honest. There's only you know, one. You don't think David Flair has a better chance of dying than Jeff Hardy? No, I was a bad pick. Yeah, I think yeah, David right. Flair's going to live a long don't time. I still, have, <laughs> I still have Brett, right? You're right. Uh, no, you do not. That was my last one before. Dude, Brett, came, Brett came through. I'm actually real happy how, yeah. how uh, fast he yeah. did that cancer. That was awesome. Yeah. He was at Stomping Grounds or Extreme Rules or yeah. something. I was all over the place. He was at SummerSlam. SummerSlam. Yeah. That's what it was. SummerSlam. Yeah, that's where he was. Yeah. SummerSlam. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually forgot who he had. And I have my notebook across the room. I didn't think I was going to need it. My bad. Uh, but we did. We actually announced on like the last episode or the episode before. So mm-hmm. yeah. um, anyway, I guess we get a couple like little quick plugs out there. I, we haven't asked anybody to do this in a long time. I figure why not do it on episode 100? Guys, if you enjoy the show, it would help out quite a bit if you go to iTunes and give us a rating. You know that I haven't like asked that in a long time. Give us a give five us, star rating or a Meltzer six stars. But, hey, there it is. I mean, I, by the way, I'm real upset that he ever broke the five star thing because they just got oh, out of dumb. hand. Oh, he ruined it. Everything he does is out of hand these days. Yeah, it should a, have been five no matter what. Five is the cap. Dude is bought and sold by his running buddies in that fucking mud show promotion. Yeah, but uh, somebody did give us eleven out of uh, eleven out of ten. Um, they posted in their last the la- latest review we got, guys. I'm not even kidding. Over a year ago. Come on, guys. What are you doing out there? We have a decent we have a decent amount of following that download our show. And how the hell do we not have a review in a whole year? So guys, get out there. Yeah, Please come show on, us guys, a- throw us a three. Come yeah. on. It honestly uh, it God honestly damn. does help. Like <laughs> outside of the star ratings, if you actually like take the time to write reviews. I, I know the Apple Podcasts interface is just absolute horseshit and garbage and it's a pain in the ass. Mm. But if you actually do leave the reviews, it actually does help the podcast get up in the standings as far as uh, iTunes, Apple podcast goes, and it mm-hmm. makes it more visible to more people. Yeah. Um, and I have to point out the the one review we did get a year ago, I have to read it real quick because I think 
it's pretty ironic. So here, here it is. Uh, Don't you think? This is this is quick. I uh, <laughs> I really love the show, guys. It's definitely one of my favorite podcasts. I wish you guys would post a lot more often. I definitely understand that everyone has scheduling restrictions. Anyways, keep up the great work. P.S. I love your views on wrestling, but every time you guys get political, I want to stick my head in a blender. Oh, you're in the wrong area when I'm around. <laughs> hey, we have not we have not gotten political in a while. That I is will. the ironic. So, you, Joe Biden. I know. <laughs> guys, have you heard the latest about Trudeau? Oh, right, you're American. You don't care. Hey, who? I don't uh, nobody who cares is. about Canadian the, politics. The, the last time I saw the last thing I saw about Trudeau is that uh, Melania was giving oh, him like. That's you know, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh no. That cut out and sounded like Melania gave him a head. But, yeah, you know, it did. It did. probably like, did. Well, on that. That's where that was going. Well, uh, <laughs> but anyway, the, I was going to say the ironic thing is our most downloaded episode is still our our political only episode. I don't know how. <laughs> Which I hate, by the way. I like, don't I, know my, how. my whole political view has shifted since then. So, so, so the person who left that review, you wrong. Yep, I you cut out there, but I assume you said our. That yes. Mark who left the review on iTunes is wrong. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody's got their own opinions, which is what we like to talk about around here. Uh, so, guys. So, so Rami's become a uh, Trumper since then? Oh, yeah. No, is I've that become what? more you of said, You said your whole political view shifted, so I yeah. assume it shifted. Yeah, I went, I went from hating anybody who had a different opinion to uh, learning that that's not how the world works. Oh. So. Well, you grow a lot in, what, four years or three years? But also fuck Trump, so that helps, too. You did? Okay, well, that's good. Three yeah. years now. No, I still hold that belief. That guy can go fuck himself, but oh. still. I'm a little more uh, open to talking about things. Oh, well, good. Good, good, good. Um, so, guys... I stand it's... by everything I said on that podcast. I I have not went back and listened to that one. I know I was just kind of be, being the, uh, you know, got the, the middle man just he trying in, to... He was in favor of the wall. I'm pretty sure Rab was. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Rab, was, Rab was behind Trump 100%. No, he wanted the North Wall is what he wanted. He wanted to wall us out. I mean, yeah, why no, not? Only, right. no, 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 Game of yeah, Thrones yeah. style. Only, only French Canada. Why Build not? The though? wall. <laughs> At this point, I think top and bottom. Might as well. Let's do it. Um, Dude, I want a Game of Thrones I, wall. I want to Canadians take that out. Clip out. Be, I would vote for Trump, Trump <laughs> if he he's like, we're gonna build the Mexican wall, and then we're gonna build the Canadian wall. It's gonna be the Game of Thrones. It's gonna be so good. I'm down. I'd vote for him. Do we have a name for that guy who 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 said he didn't like when we got political? Uh, there was no name given. No, no, there was no, what like, a pussy. no name. <laughs> well, if you're listening, it was like stars or something. Or I, it was like a weird, a weird name. No, it's not an actual. Wait, wait, you went from there was no name to it was a weird name. It was like, uh, I, I already closed it down. Uh, but it was like, uh, gone forever. No, I'll, 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 I'll get it back up. But, um, nah. oh, well, there it is. Uh, here it is. I'm already there. I'm clicking the button now. I am clicking. just remember though I want to say okay. guys guys if it happened on the internet one time nobody changes or grows please go back <clears> and watch that <throat> political podcast and just assume that everything we said then we feel now okay yeah. nobody ever grows as people yeah when someone never says oh but you said this two years ago yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the like whole internet climate is like yeah. I don't think anybody could change oh wow that's a that's a lot of message of hope <laughs> the name of the person is sale city. So, well, go sail away. Sail City. S A L E, like on sale. That that kind of ah, sale. Like, so, Sail City. Oh, so we bought by Trump. Cool. I'm sorry that you don't like this part of the podcast. I understand. You <laughs> fast forward. Uh, all the all the podcast apps have like skip thirty, skip thirty, skip thirty. That's true. So that way you might not hear me telling you to go fuck yourself. That's so like that a store called Sail City where this guy just like used the in-store account for iTunes. <laughs> that would be great. That would be fantastic. But uh, someone in someone in the Twitch someone in the Twitch said that this is a uh, Three out of five, uh, Chris faces. This that's the wrong that's thing. I don't that's, care about that. Yeah, that's a whole another. What, what what is that even? Yeah, you got. When I did you guys stop up. doing that? The uh, the faces. That's been a we while, didn't. right? It still still happens every single time. Yeah, I, wa- I watch the show. I I've, still watch. It, <laughs> obviously, you don't, because me and Chris still have the faces. I yeah. I the last thing I saw, I saw you do the like the little whip thing, and you know you did the whole thing. I didn't see faces pop up. Yeah, this is hundred percent. That's faces. when the faces pop day up. One. Well, I know that's when they did pop up. I didn't see them pop up when you did it. Uh, no, maybe you were drunk busy, like peanut. Like, I don't know. Maybe yeah. you had two blue moons. And maybe. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think Bomber's too busy like wearing camo and face masks and pushing, like, mustard through the mask and shit. Yeah, it's the up. goggles, definitely. But uh, yeah, no, hey, I don't drink beer. Come on now, beer. Beer's Rami, Rami, ever since you stopped plugging the show on our podcast, he stopped. Plugging. 
That's exactly <laughs> what it was. That's 100%. <laughs> it's like out of spite. I don't blame him. Yeah, he's kind of a vendetta bitch. for you. I mean, the times you've not been on the podcast, I didn't want to say anything because we're all yep. friends and stuff. We want to let it out in the air now. Bomber really hates you, Matt. Like, he's, it's just been a it's just non, non-stop. Just Go. like, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this geek. Go listen to one episode. Lee, I hate myself, so I don't blame him. He, 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 never, got, he never got over when you took us off the uh, YouTube channel. Oh, no. that was the best decision I ever made. It was such a, it was like holding the channel down big time. It, there you uh, go. Oh, well, wow. at least we're being on. No, I'm actually, I would, I would actually like to comment on that. I'm happy that I made that decision because this turned out to be like we separated. It became its own thing, which I enjoy because I always thought that this would be better off instead of everybody that's seen it as like, oh, it's just Matt Zion's wrestling podcast. Like it became its own beast now. Like you guys never sure. would have done Patreon. You never would have taken well, like all these extra little steps to turn this into its own deal. So I'm happy that we made that choice. So we're uh, your back kid, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I, you guys were growing up, and I kicked you the fuck out once you were 18. That's <laughs> basically yeah. it. Yeah. Now we're now we're, now we're fucking now we're fucking eating ramen and fucking yeah. like uh, <laughs> just sitting in someone else's apartment, not paying rent. That's hey, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'll be honest with you. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of that, by the way, it really is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, people. Yeah, people. I don't even know if Zion knows, but um, yeah, I haven't been. Uh, yeah, I don't have a job night now because I moved and everything, and um, I've been looking around. And actually, oh, tomorrow morning, actually, I'm going to uh, be going and shadow some directors and stuff, and trying to get a uh, oh, cool. trying to get a yeah. good job. Pretty, nice. Uh, so hopefully yeah, that our works friend, out. Uh, our friend Val has like uh, tons of job experience. He's got, you know, like all of the credentials you would need, school, everything. And he moved back here uh, from Seattle and it's been like four months and he cannot fucking find anything but this economy is so good <laughs> what what uh what job like uh like uh he basically just does like do? office work like the most oh, okay. common thing that you could possibly find and he just he gets he's yeah. he looks all the time he cannot find anything yeah. nothing before my, before my current job where i've been you know five years or something actually tomorrow is the five year anniversary of when i left my last job and after that i was oh, unemployed man. for six months yeah, yeah, I'm like right there right now, actually, because so, uh, yeah, exactly yeah, shit, six months. So this shit, this shit happens, and then all of a sudden, like you have a job. So yeah, and see, I'm done. I'm not I'm I'm so thankful that Jess, she's like she got a very good job, which is why we moved. We had to take this opportunity for like for her uh, to get a good, really good job. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got ten years experience in the damn television uh, news business uh, production side, so. I'm definitely not worried about it. I just have to wait for the stuff to open, which is the sad part. And we moved to Norfolk, Virginia, which is a little bit smaller than Charlotte. So there's not as many, you know, stations here. And it's uh, just got to wait the, for something. Uh, what's the porn industry like over there? Yeah, I, I haven't. Think you should get into the porn industry. <laughs> I, I, Those hey, are the directories he's going to shadow tomorrow. If, I, if I'm going to direct something, I, you know what? I'm not opposed. I'm just saying. I'm not opposed. And if I got to start like AR Fox, that's a CZW reference, by the way. Uh, I'll do what I got to do. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, AR Fox, before he became a CZW wrestler, he started doing porn to make ends meet. And, you know, sometimes oh. sometimes you got to start in the uh, the gay oh, porn fan- business. That's good. I'm glad that we mentioned that AR Fox did gay porn on Job Radio episode 100. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when <laughs> else would we reference it? I mean, come on. So I had to what? get. <laughs> what? Wait, is a dream match on the porn scene Ricochet versus AR Fox? <laughs> I mean, I I'd never thought about that, but hey, let's get it done. But we had to talk about CZW at least once on this episode, right? I mean, come on. We, this, no, that's, we what, that's what this bad boy was built off of. You guys talking shit about the best independent company, you know, in the world. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> you haven't even mentioned MLW yet. It's what are you talking good. about, pal? Well, okay, I mean, oh, when you think about overall history, yeah. I, obviously, CZW is not on top anymore. Come on now. You know, you know what's honest, really interesting, though? What? Uh, and honestly, this isn't even a joke. How far CZW has fallen since we started this podcast? Yeah, they definitely Because do. you think about it, they were already so low that we would trash talk them constantly. <laughs> Even if they were up high, you would have so, trash talked them. But they've gotten so, so, so much lower that we forget to talk shit about them. <laughs> I almost I feel mean, like don't shit till you say something. Yeah, it almost feels like you've contributed to like the discourse of tearing them down. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's so like, much that like, you it's guys... like I mean, because how many listeners do we have, right? Let's say we have mm-hmm. 12 listeners. That would be all of their, you know, audience. And so they they all mm-hmm. listen to I the see. podcast, all 12 of them, and they all heard, oh, yeah, this shit sucks, and they stopped watching. Yeah, well, they're like, you know what? Yeah, that Zandig guy is kind of bullshit. 
Zandig. Zandig is amazing. First of all, don't why why are, anyway. Anyway, there are five of them. Father. I I will I will a hundred percent agree though, uh, Zion. That yes, CZW has a hundred percent admittedly taken a pretty bad you know fall from. What do you mean, even, Zion? I'm totally the one who said that. Wait, you said yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, was start, right. I'm starting the new gimmick. It's episode 100. We're switching Rab and Zion. What a, what a, what a piece of that. shit. Yeah. I knew that CCW was screwed when, like, I was like, man, I'd really like to see Sick Nick Mondo come back. And someone was like, that happened two years ago. What? <laughs> oh, like, well, what? he didn't come back, come back. He, he did a run in for little, little stupid Dick Mondo. Or little whatever. Mondo. Rory, uh, Drew, little hey, cheap, that's Drew Gulex. Child. That's Drew Gulex's brother, man. Come on now. That's Drew Gulex's brother. But, uh, oh my god, it is? 100%, yes. Oh my god, wait, that's fucking weird, okay. Cool. hundred, No, 100%, Rory, Rory now, Why is that so CZW to me? Hey, did you know Drew Gulak's brother was Little Mondo? All right, well, that's... Jesus! No, there's I, so... I, 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 <laughs> that's the thing that, I like... Realized, oh, what's up? I realized that they were crashing when one of their best, most legendary wrestlers ever left to go be a referee in NXT. Drake Elder? <laughs> hey. Yeah. That's not a joke. I'm serious. That's what oh, I was like, did. oh, yeah, that shit's done. Drake Younger. And he's uh, fantastic, by the way. I've always heard, I hear everybody talk about ref. how good he's of a, a referee. Ref. Yeah, yeah, he's a great ref. No, um, he's, he's no, great. That's odd. When, 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 when Drake, who is like the shit over there, left to go be a referee in developmental is when I was like, oh, yeah, yeah CZW's done. That was, yeah, there, there was a couple turning points. But, yeah, that was one of them because he was one of my favorites for sure. That's uh. But yeah, anyway, anyway, that's enough CZW talk. Um, there is a show that's happening this weekend that I did want us to talk about. I think some of you may have heard of it, this little company called AEW. Um, we haven't had Zion on the show to talk about a lot of the you know recent stuff lately, and you seem to be one of the higher-ups on the show. If you would have heard any of our previous shows... No, we didn't hear a single I, well, I know, of I'm, a single I, podcast ever. I know you haven't. I'm just saying, I'm saying if you would have... Uh, I don't. We don't try to be, but we come off pretty negative towards AEW. I'm gonna be honest. I, we don't try to be. We yeah, don't. You know what? Be. Honestly, I'm with you a little bit. I think they're they're stumbling. That's what I'm noticing. I don't. I don't okay. think that they're handling this quite. It's not horrible, but it does feel like the issue I'm gonna run into with it, or they're gonna run into it with it, is this just feels like a payday for all their friends instead of a serious company that's gonna seriously compete, and mm. that'll work for a while. But the problem is, is eventually that roster is going to get stale and they're going to run into the same problem WWE is where they just refuse to let people go. You know, they're not going to fire their friends. Like there's plenty of people on that roster that are just going to be there forever as either job or Supremes, or they're just going to be around taking a payday. And that's, you can't, you have to have somebody at the top that's not relying upon friendships. He's trying to make money. Yeah. It's a business. And that's, that, that's kind of what I'd been thinking this whole time. Cause I, we come off like we're, it's more we're kind of shooting holes through all the claims of how it's perfect. That I, like, I oh, do agree. That, I that's agree. more what it is. Like, oh, they're infallible. No, they're quite fallible. Uh, you just don't yeah, want to admit man. they're doing the same mistakes. What I've what wondered, not. like, I like see. Cody got told no a lot by Triple H, and Spears was told no. All these guys were told no by WWE, and they're going to go over here and do their own thing. Yeah, but eventually, Cody or the Bucks or Omega is going to tell them no, because yeah. that's not in the plans. And now what? Like, There's going to be problems. It's yeah. going to happen. It's going to ruin some friendships. Happen. Or, I mean, maybe they're going to be the first company where this is like a truly like a family run thing and no one's well, going to have any serious disputes. Who knows? The big thing that I found interesting was the whole thing with Moxley pulling out because he got hurt. Mm -hmm. And they they want to talk about how proud they are about being able to work with other companies and go back and forth and have guys like all in. Um, one of the coolest things with that Battle Royal was like the ROH TV champion and the Impact X champion are in the same ring and blah, 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 and all these crossovers, and it's fun. It's neat. Indie wrestling. Cool. But the whole reason for exclusivity, same with like UFC not wanting people boxing, is if someone gets hurt over there, you're fucked because now you don't have your guy. Yeah. yeah. And that's literally what happened with Moxley in Japan. His elbow re-aggravated, and now he's out of all out and was literally their number two or for some number one yeah. marquee match. Yeah. So yeah. if he wasn't doing those, it would have been okay. So where do you draw that line well, and say, we can't do these either? Yeah, they need to That's make why they do it. I yeah. think like, they or at least make it a big deal when they when they have somebody in like Japan. Like, yeah. well, this is a rare thing. Don't let them wrestle. Like, if you do yeah, that, like it's, you're it, fucked. It, it literally is a case where like, oh, we want to let people do what they do. Yeah, but now you've, you've lost out. That's why yeah. they do it, because you lose out. So yeah. how many people, how many buys, how many? They've been pre-selling pre-orders for their pay-per-view. Have there been people saying, I don't want any more because there's no Moxley? Yeah. I would have. 
Like that's like you, I mean, you're gonna have you're gonna have that now, I and mean, that's what you encounter. I mean, talk is all new a pretty big get though as a replacement. Yes. Yeah, they lucked out basically. They had a good. They, yeah, they good did, backup. but they they've continued to luck out. That's gonna run out. <laughs> yeah, but they they got to they got to establish like better relationships with other companies because like uh here's a good example, uh MLW, I don't know if you ever heard of them. I've never mentioned them before. Um they just they just did a they just signed a development like sort of trade deal thing with uh Pro Wrestling Noah and they sent one of their best guys Alexander Hammerstone over there to compete in one of the tournaments and they promoted the fuck out of it. So it's you know, it's like an official thing. So you, you know, even if he gets like hurt or something over there mm-hmm. it doesn't it doesn't profoundly affect the product where you know it's like oh shit we yeah. got to scramble now you know it still is their product exactly yeah i think once they get to television though i think they mentioned this that they are toning down like people are going to be exclusive people aren't going to be doing all those you know indie shows and stuff so that's part of why moxley is doing it now because they said once yeah. tv launches that'll stop because... but it made me go i wonder how much regret they have and how much like it I know it's easy to, to look into things and be speculative and that's the internet and that's how all this is, but there's got to be levels when you're talking about all this money where they go, yeah, that was a bad call, Cody, or whoever made that decision. Mm-hmm. That's not happening anymore. That's taken away. Like all these different things. We're going to do all this stuff. And then it backfires. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm being a doomsayer. I get it. But it's like, that's how that stuff falls flat. You, yeah. and then you recover and you go from there and you make it, you build it and you're cool. I'll you got to learn judgment until, be fine. Uh, until they have but a yeah. show. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not, not going to throw any shade at them until they actually ran their first no. official show. And then yeah, it's but... time to rip them a fucking apart. And, oh. and that, that doesn't, I'm not trying to do that, but I am trying to point out the obvious of like, look, they're not infallible. It's there, but sure. they're also, they don't know better <laughs> either. This is how they learn. Well, Cody knows better. I love it. Cody, yeah, Cody you're right. Cody knows better. He knows, yeah, he, he knows how this shit runs. And and he's one of the guys out there fucking like mocking Triple H and doing like, oh, break, breaking the throne with a sledgehammer and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, they stop that shit. Like, ASAP. They man. need like, to stop they, the, the whole like WWE inside. It's not, it's, I don't think it's cool. It just comes no. off as kind of like hokey a little bit. Yeah, they want to be an what, alternative, but they're doing the same thing. Stop it's what TNA the and WCW did in their dying day. Well, TNA in its former incarnation where it basically died. All they were doing was co- constantly just talking about like the other promotion and counter programming and trying to yeah. do the same thing. And WCW was doing the exact same goddamn thing when they died. Having Don't a, abyss give Rey Mysterio a birthday present. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, so all out is this weekend. I'm, we're going to go around and I'm going to ask you guys. You know, are you either going to watch it? Are you excited? What are your overall just thoughts on the show this weekend? I guess, Scott, are you excited for All Out? Are you going to watch it? What is What are your thoughts just going in this weekend? Well, before um, we break down, this is before we break down the car. We'll go through some matches here. Yeah, I was interested because I want to see if they can like how they can do it because I've liked the last three of their shows. Um, the Fighter Fest, there was OK stuff, but I had problems. We all did. And this one, I'm like, all right, this is like, turn that corner. Let's see if you can really go. They're going to go all out. <laughs> um, but the card doesn't excite me from the roster they have. And like I said, Moxie was a huge hit for me. Um, I will not be ordering it. I'm not, and I don't pirate, so I'm not watching it live. So there you go. Okay. All right. What about uh, what about you, Lee? I'm not super excited. Um, honestly, just like Scott, Moxley was the only fucking draw for me. Especially after the run he had in Japan, where he was just like fucking on fire, uh, I was like really excited to see what he had uh, sort of bring back from Japan and, and incorporate into his uh, his uh, matches and shit here. And now we're not going to get that for however long it takes to get his uh, bursa sack out of his fucking elbow or the fucking shit and rehab all that crap. So, um, and goddamn, Jericho's looking super fat these days. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not into that match either. <laughs> Uh, like, like he's just walking around with a fucking super spare tire around him. At this but point. I mean, like, he killed just, it with he killed it with Omega, though. I think yeah, it was by but, choice. I think he's doing it by design. I think he's just yeah. trying to change up his look, and he also does. likes to drink with the boys. Mm, yeah, but it's like uh, when he was when he was fought Omega. Even then, he wasn't as bad as he is now. Like he was dad bod Jericho still then. Now he's just fat bod Jericho at this point. <laughs> there you go. But, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Jericho was, I'd, I'd say he's been one of the most interesting fucking guys as far as oh, reinventing himself. The last yeah, couple he's years one of the ago. few guys I'm excited for. In yeah, because he's definitely winning the title, 100%. He will be their Ooh. first champion. Oh, it may, well, it makes sense. Well, we're I mean, going to talk yeah. about that, man. 
because I don't. I mean, there's zero he, chance anybody but him. Is I don't the think that's the case. That so we're going to talk oh, about I that. I guarantee it. There's okay. zero chance Hangman Page takes that belt zero unless chance. they're unless their booking is just totally fucking oh, ass yeah. backwards. Unless because they're idiots. <laughs> because uh, Hangman Page, even though he's slated okay. to be their 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 big face and everything. They've been just booking him with fucking losers and jobbers and shit when they shouldn't have been. Like him and M- MJF should have had a program this last few shows instead yeah. of yeah. including like, and, all the the Luchasauruses and, and the fucking jungle idiots and all. Well, those. yeah, he he had what like a, a fifteen minute match with Sammy Guevara, which was fun, but it's like you shouldn't be having that match right now. No, That's exactly. No, yeah. So uh, <laughs> the show, I'm. I'm hoping they're going to, like, actually fucking grow up a little bit and, like, try to pull out all their guns for the show. Uh, I'm not necessarily thinking that's a great possibility, but I'll, I'll, I will am going to watch it, so we'll, okay. we'll see. All right. Uh, Rab, I guess we'll go to you. I haven't heard from you in a little bit. Uh, are you hyped up for this? Are you going to watch it? What are you thinking about it? I, I was definitely more excited about this two months ago. Or, you know, when, Is whenever it, they Does it have something to do with it, Moxley? It, it definitely has something to do with Moxley. It has something to do with just the, the more time that has gone by, the just the less I'm excited for it. And every little show they have, you know, is boring to me. Like all the little shows they've had along the way, the you know, fighter fest. just try to make us remember that a you know AEW exists. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's it's almost as if they built this up from too far away. Mm-hmm. That is a that's and, not oh, yeah. On that one that can be you know and, yeah. and then obviously you have something like moxley going down when you build something from this far away that kind of thing can happen and on top of that you know, yeah i mean getting Pac is great but i don't care about it because it wasn't built it's just a random match so now i just don't care uh mm-hmm. you know jericho versus page will be a good match i'm sure yeah jericho is looking you know it's it's Hangman Page versus Fat Man Jericho, but <laughs> <laughs> it, it, oh, you well, you see, oh, the, hold on, that's my theory right there. See, Jericho can't possibly lose to Page because if he tries to hang him, he's too fat. He'll just break the rope. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I didn't think about that, I, but I agree. I agree with Rami. I do think that this is on purpose. I think he's purposely trying to, you know, change the character he's going for right now is Fat Guy. Well, that's like the yeah. easiest character to get into. Just you know, stop working yep. out. <laughs> no, Not I if did... you want to be able to go. I did hear him uh, make a comment. I don't know if it was on a podcast or what. It was. I heard, remember hearing somewhere recently that he talked about, yeah, building, like bulking up, like getting yeah. bigger because when he does wrestle in Japan and stuff, that's like they see him differently when he's over there like that. And he's like a bigger dude. So he did mention something about like getting bigger. So you're probably right. He he did also say, I thought you were going to say this. He said a comment that at All Out, they're going to build a bigger star than WWE has in the past six months. They Yes, he did make that comment, which is very interesting. I think he's talking about himself, yeah. personally. Yeah. I think so, too. I think yeah, you're I really right. I wouldn't doubt it. That, that's, that's, a good, he, yeah. that's a fantastic I just, comment. I, don't, yeah. I can't possibly see... The, the There's a risk with Hangman Page. Putting him as your face of your company is risky. But, but, but having Jericho... like looking back, If this company makes it in 10 years... And they can say, hey, Jericho, his last run as one of the, I mean, arguably, one of the greatest of all time. I think Jericho goes into that category hands down. Mm-hmm. They're yep. not going to blow this. I mean, they want the first champion to always be Chris Jericho. Well, Otherwise, I can't. I cannot possibly see why they would. Well, we'll talk more. I, well, hold on. Yeah, hold on. We'll, 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 we'll talk more about yeah. that in a minute. But first, right. Zion, overall, whole show, talking whole show here. Are you excited? Are you going to watch it? I don't even know most of the matches, so I don't really care. Oh, for the record, oh, well, I, never, I never said whether or not I was going to watch Oh, it. sorry. Are you going to watch it, Rep? Uh, I don't know. Okay, god damn it. Jesus. No, I mean, it's true. I, I, it, it will definitely... No, that's how I was with Double or Nothing. I it decided that day... It game time you know decision. What? Yeah. You know? yeah. What, what's funny is Double or Nothing, I would have for sure watched uh, live if I could have. Mm-hmm. I was excited for Double or Nothing. For sure, I would have watched Double or Nothing live but if I had the opportunity to. I want to say I have the opportunity to, and I don't know if I'm going to. And uh, let's not forget. I, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say real quick. Let's not forget. This is their first paid show again. They had double or nothing for fifty bucks, the two free shows, and now this one for fifty again. They're asking you to yeah. pay, and it's like, okay, you gave us two freebies. This is worth money, right? Yeah. So it's interesting. Well, I I went to these shows. They're two of their first shows live. Like we actually traveled to go support them because I'm a big PWG guy. Mm-hmm. PWG uh, is one of the, like, basically changed wrestling for me. Actually kind of ruined wrestling a little bit. 
because it's hard to watch stuff when PWG is that good and then try to swallow WWE. Like it's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. But so this this should be my ideal fed. But it just doesn't really feel like it. I kind of just feel like it might have come at the time where there's just too much fucking professional wrestling. Uh, but I went out of my way to like see and support these guys, and now I'm kind of just mild on it. And I think that that might also just be a sign of where their product is. There's just not enough interest, and I think the point of it being they built this thing up way too far out in advance. They Once you announce something like this, you start to lose the sizzle really quick. And I think they definitely lost the uh, the sizzle at this point, and they need yeah. to get it back yeah. by having a fucking awesome show. Especially it, when they don't have like fucking Hangman Page and Jericho cutting promos on each other every goddamn fucking show. Subsequent to that, like they should have been building yeah. stuff. Yeah, it, yeah, their Instagram it's, stuff has been awesome, but they're it's just doing Instagram. it. It's as if it's as yeah. if the go home show is important. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, eh? It's yeah. funny, but when you have something built out this far in advance, it's like uh, I've had this with movies before. When the trailers keep playing over and over and over, it's like I felt like this came out already. I felt like I've seen it. Yeah, oh, it does I, feel like it has repeating value to it. It's one of those where it's like I don't, I yeah. don't care anymore. You've actually like, outsold me. You should have stopped already. And imagine how much worse it's going to get once, like they've been running for six months, and you're like, these are the same fucking people over and over and over again. It's they're going to run into some problems. I hope that they know what they're doing and they can counter it. Yeah, we'll that's you because you, you've not been on the podcast. What I keep saying, Matt, is if these shows, even if they're super good matches and all these guys, if you had a perfect steak every day, you'd eventually still get tired of steak. No, it's... I wouldn't. I just put ketchup on it. It would be delicious. Oh, yeah. God. Fuck I wouldn't you. say that. Well, that you're tacos, <laughs> hey, too, right? Hey. But you know God. What? Okay, this is what the podcast is about now. I love ketchup <laughs> on my... Oh! Oh, oh, there he is. Now, you know what? See you later, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Peanut, peanut. Podcast goes good. <laughs> I heard peanut very faintly. If yeah. peanut... Is it working? Is it a ghost? Yeah, you, I mean, you might have to yell. You're a little quiet. Yeah. Hi, your voice is in my head. Hello, peanut. Your blue Hello, voice. check two, two. I'm yes. screaming. Yeah. No, we, we hear you a good deal. Uh, is it loud? No. No. No, but we can hear you. You're good. Oh, Peanut, since you're here, uh, all out. Are you going to watch it? Are you excited for it? Yes. It's uh, this Saturday at the Sear Center. Are you promoting it? Why do you sound like you're in a valley? Like, what are you? <laughs> all right. You sound like you're so far away. I don't know if I can be hurt. I'm yelling. We hear okay? you. <laughs> <laughs> we hear you, but it sounds so quiet. It sounds like you're kind of like this more so than anything. It's really weird. He hooked up two strings between those two blue moon cans. <laughs> so it's so it's in the Sears Center, and what, and what else? All right, you guys want to know where I'm at? <laughs> yes. yes, actually, we fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I decided that crappy Wi-Fi was not going to dictate my future, and data restrictions were not going to be my fate. So I prayed. <laughs> so you prayed? That's good. Jesus helped you with your connection. That's fantastic. So is that is that is that drunk peanut? Charge? I looked out. I looked out the window, and what peered back at me? The golden arches. I knew it. I knew it. He's he's. Are you sitting in a McDonald's right now, yelling at your phone? In the parking. <laughs> in the parking. In the parking lot. <laughs> Wow, but that is... Uh, the yeah. Wi-Fi is really good. <laughs> why, why does this feel like the most peanut thing ever? I don't know why it feels like he sounds like he has a New York accent, I... too. Because <laughs> I'm yelling. I don't know that sounded how. better a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay, but well, that's good. I realize it's episode 100. I had to at least try to make a cameo. And it seems it's working. So I'll just keep this up. Just keep yelling till the cops come. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm yelling with my hands in a Walmart parking lot, Wait, a McDonald's what? parking what? lot, what? M's, W's, you know. Uh, well, good. I might get arrested yet. is my part point. I look like a crazy man right well, now. Just make sure the mic is still on where we can hear and you get the tased. person next to me. They got out of their car and said, I'm going to DM the Pope. So what? I don't know what that don't means, know what but that that's... means. <laughs> okay. It got louder as he said it. So if you keep saying the Pope and praying and stuff, you'll we're getting so, there. So drunk peanut becomes religious peanut. Got it. Wait, he's drunk and he drove. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh. I am not drunk. Uh oh. And hey, you tell it's... them when they get you on live PD. Dude, pal. Let's get the USO off the podcast. All right. <laughs> Jeez. The blue moon reference was a joke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that that part was the joke. 
Yeah. That was that was a sad joke, Peter. You should have <laughs> thought some better booze, brother. Oh man, I didn't drink them. That's the joke. Oh, that's good. It's that's... a generic beer, and I got drunk off of two. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Okay. So, uh, first of all, Zion, are you gonna watch the? Are you gonna watch all out, Zion? I don't think we got the answer from you. <laughs> when? When is it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's Saturday. It's on he Saturday. Just said, he oh, just Saturday. said it's Saturday at the Sears oh, Center, Chicago. Oh well, I think that uh, response should really answer it for you. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. It's at 5 p.m. your time. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what? I definitely need to take a nap that day. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and as for me, I am actually going to be out of town doing a fantasy draft at uh, one of my, my friends' place. So unless I can get him to order it, I will not be also. I will also not be watching live. So um, it, it has nothing to do with me like, not wanting to watch, though, because I would love to watch it. But Hater. I just might. What? <laughs> I just might not be able to watch it live. So. Uh, yeah, unless I can talk them into it, I'm not watching it live. But let's let's run through a couple of these matches. Peanut, if you're there, you can hang out with us. If you can't, I understand. Um, My throat hurts from yelling, but so we'll see. We, we are all here, though. History has been made. History made, yeah. episode 100. It's super special. Uh, I might walk into the McDonald's and maybe get myself a Diet Coke. Oh, do that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, <you> guys. <laughs> Sounds like a reporter you. in a storm. <laughs> I will really take you does. with me and hold the push to talk in case anything <laughs> fun happens. This but... is gonna this is gonna come up on YouTube. Like someone's gonna film him in this McDonald's. That'll be yes. great. Gonna... Yes. So uh first match. Let me know if you guys even know who these people are and if you are in who you think's gonna win. Uh it is a female match, a, a women's wrestling match. Riho versus Hikaru Shida. I think I oh so I, the the little Japanese girls who look like anime characters. Uh, the yeah. Riho is more of the uh, what are they called Joji's? I believe it is. Um, the, uh, Joji's Eddie, dating Randy Orton. Uh, what Joshi? Joshi. Sorry, yes, I, I'm not familiar with the Japanese wrestling terms. Oh, I, I just heard them. I'm leaving this. I'm leaving this to the Canadians. This this match. Wait, I don't understand. What does that mean? Do we know wait, what we're talking Rob. about? Oh, oh wait, <laughs> Peanut. Exactly. What's that, Peanut? Are you expecting uh, the hurricane, Rab? <laughs> we did that earlier. We hit a whole yeah. segment about the hurricane. But he's like reporting from it. But he's so. yeah, he's reporting live. And also, no, he said what he can't be on. Yes, yeah, he His whole uh, thing fell apart the moment he called it. <laughs> and would you expect anything less? <laughs> <laughs> would you expect anything less? If okay. You've listened to a hundred episodes and stuck along this far. I don't think they're going to be bothered by me. By me calling in from a McDonald's parking lot. So. I haven't listened for 100 episodes, and I'm bothered. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. So, bomber, which which one of these girls? Okay, which one of them is Jordan Grace, and which one is Trisha Parker? Oh so. Jesus! No, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you you did forget a stipulation. The winner of this goes on to the AEW Women's Title match. Yes, and I, to me, that's why I think this is very obvious yeah. that uh, which it, is on the debut TV show. I think it's the debut episode. Yeah, on TV. Yes, uh, I think uh, Riho is taking the loss here. In my my personal opinion. Uh, Sheeta, from what I've heard early on, that she they really, really, really like her. They had her win at the double or nothing. She was the one that even got the pin in the six woman tag, even mm-hmm. after a wardrobe malfunction. Um, she she's definitely gonna get this win here, in my opinion. I think. Uh, do you guys feel different, or do you have? No, I do. I'm, I'm going with Nia Jax. Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with done, you. Both. See what you've done, Peanut. See what you've thank done. you, Scott. I thank somebody's with me. I like it. Oh wow! I called you the right name. All right, what about does why why why, why are you going why are you going with Nia Jax? Uh, wait, isn't that the one they signed that might be a dude? No. Oh my God, <laughs> that's Nyla Rose. If oh, if Jesus! I thought she. I thought it was the first WCW jump. And, and, no, no, my Nyla bad, Rose everybody. is transgender so there's uh, you're, you're, oh yeah there's oh, no there's well, no Nia Jax was a dude so no, <laughs> no. Is fuck. she's not like most girls yeah, I said she's not <laughs> like most girls. thank you peanut that's oh. what i assumed they were getting at there wow is. this, this leaks out so on twitter this leaks out on twitter yeah, we're, we're gonna get a lot of people hating this we're done oh my god we really have cancer, a lot of people cancer, hating cancer, this. well at least we made it to 100 <laughs> There it is. We're so, hated by just like the regular audience, so it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, our valued friends. So, does anybody else besides me and Scott know who these people are, and do they have yes. a pick? No. <laughs> I picked. Uh... <laughs> the 
this I, is a weird like of all the women they have on the roster, yeah. this is being a contendership bout is weird. It's like really th- those two? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, like, it just seems like a weird match. Yeah. I feel like the fans' interest is going to take the pinfall on this one. Yeah. Riho, yeah. Riho has, you know, I think she like picked up a lot of interest after like I don't think they had a lot of plans for her, but people no. have really been like you know really big big on her once they once they saw her debut. So I think that's what they, got her this match. But Sheeta is definitely taking the win. They yeah, love the out. matches. Mm-hmm. Like when they're in the ring, they love it, but they're not marketable names yet. So it's like, oh, it's these yeah. two. Oh, it's true. Ooh. Sure. That's something they're gonna have. And to then when they see it, combat. oh, it's great. So yeah, yeah, that's just they'll so get there. Growing yeah. pains, go, yeah, that's that's growing. Go figure. Pain. A bunch of neck neck beard mud show fucking fans are really into an anime girl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, so speaking of the female matches on the card, on the buy-in, which is the basically the pre-show, for those that don't know the name of the pre-show, um, there is a Casino Battle Royale, which is the exact same type match that they did at Double or Nothing. Oh, God. But yep. it's, it's going to be 21 women on their roster, and I want somebody to somebody in here right now tell me that Britt Baker is not going to win, and I will call you a liar. Because Britt Baker, they don't have twenty one women on their roster. Wow, you got oh Jesus, that was clear now. You got really loud. Uh, you are put correct. Raw on Orange Cassidy. I heard Orange Cassidy. What? Yeah. The, Wait, the, do the I not have to yell roster. anymore? No, you sound normal. You're good, Peanut. You're good. It helps when you talk into the mic of the phone. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't. I was not surprised. I knew that's what was happening. Yeah, I, but I was scared. Why didn't to say you it. tell me that? We we I'm told like, you something. We fucking did. did. Uh, is yelling. So somebody in the chat called her Botch Baker. <laughs> Botch <What> Baker. <laughs> Look, why shouldn't Britt Baker win? One, she's a dentist. That's Two, true. She's a she's a de- she's a dentist. Yes, she is a dentist. She's a doctor dentist. And, uh, three, she's not well, a dentist or doctors. I don't have any problem with her. Are people like actually hating on her? I, I don't know. I I've never. Her I've never heard anything. Probably. Her. Yeah, they called her like, racist because she went to the wrong corner during her tag match. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. She tried to Even though she had a concussion. Jacks. Wait, well, no, she had a concussion at the time and in their... went to the wrong corner, you know, getting the two small Japanese oh, brunettes yeah. in white mixed up. It's and like, they're calling her racist? That, that it's going to happen. But they called her racist because she couldn't tell them. Oh, please. Yes, yes. That She had a concussion for fucking sake. That That's just people being funny, though. That's not real. Yeah. Well, all those, all those anime girls look the same anyway. Come on. Yeah, there you go. That's the racism I was looking that, for. I was about to say, now there's some racism. That's, yeah. <laughs> yes. So no, she's going to win that one. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, Nyla Rose would be the other favorite, I think, in that match. Does anybody think yeah, that she but... really has a chance? They don't know how to book their monsters. Like, they've shown no intent on making, like, Awesome Kong or uh, Nyla look like they can kick ass. So why bother? Awesome Kong's probably going to be in this match, too, by the way. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, along with uh, Asha Kong, they'll have a fight. And so is Roddy Piper's daughter, by the way. For those that didn't know that, Roddy Piper's daughter is going to be in this match, too. Ronda yeah. Rousey's in this? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Teal Piper. <laughs> yeah. Got him. He, he named his daughter Teal, like the color. Yeah, that, mean, that sounds like a Roddy thing to do. Does um, it? Uh, I don't know. Something Not really. I kind of think that's the opposite of a no, Roddy thing. I, that I, would expect. I meant like something crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, the, it, Roddy always struck me as like a fucking psycho dude. So it just seems crazy to. Why didn't he just name his daughter Piper? That would have made sense. Yeah, that's right. Piper Piper. Piper, Piper Piper. Woman's name. Yeah. It'd be Piper Tombs, wouldn't it? Piper Tombs. So yeah. did anybody think somebody's going to win besides Britt Baker and besides Nijax probably also winning this one? I have zero idea. Yeah, of who you gonna said win. Nia Jax. Like, oh, Rose, yeah, right? I'm going with Nia Jax. Oh, was, Thank you for uh, reminding me. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I you, you said there's 21 women. I didn't know they had more than, like, five women on the roster. So who are they, they inviting into this thing? They do, they're they, borrowing from WWE. They're going to bring in Sasha Banks. Man, those blue moons are getting you there, kid. Wow. Uh, yeah. But, no, uh... There, they did have a, uh, what's her name? Brandy Rose came out and did like a little promo thing where she said, uh, we don't have that many on the roster. So people that you've never heard of may, may come out and win. So they're definitely oh, just so, bringing in random So it was people. like their previous shows, a bunch of people have never heard of are going to show <laughs> yeah. up. As long as it's on... not the fucking librarian, I'll be happy. Oh, she'll be in it. Oh, she'll be in it. Sure. I mean, when? Yeah. She might. Um, Sadie Gibbs is also another, uh, one of their talents. That's going to be pretty good. I think she's got, looks like an MMA background or something. That's how they've been promoting her anyway. Uh, yeah, she be. looks pretty good. Like as far as hopefully a future star. So maybe, uh, she can get some highlight stuff. They had a promo video for her, which was pretty good at the last. Yeah. I think that double or nothing actually. It like, was double or nothing. Yeah. There. 
Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I th- I'm definitely thinking Britt Baker for that one. Um, it's bring, it's uh, a weird I- ivory under retirement. Oh Jesus, no! She better be on. Legends I wouldn't be surprised. Too. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, what's weird is again, it's on their buy-in, which for the record was a dumb name to call their pre-show when you had free shows. There's nothing to buy into. But anyway, um, yeah. they're putting the battle royal on the pre-show again, even though it's actually a bit of a draw of a match. Less so for this one, but still, it's like come watch 21 random women, some not even on our roster, as the enticement to spend fifty dollars. That well, is not how that works. I don't understand that. I think they'll figure it out at some point. <coughs> maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. So, but it's still, it's, Tony it's Khan will I, figure it out when his dad asks yeah. him where all his money went that he's. I just, I just don't get that. I, I didn't understand it for the last one, too, because literally for most people, the Battle Royal was a big draw. I, I admittedly, until they saw how it played out, it was, it was weird. So, um, coming up, coming fives. But it's, it's a weird thing to give away for free, but that will be their pre show match. One of them. So, Matt Zion, I got to hear your answer here. Who's going to win on the other buy in match? The private party or Angelico and Jack Evans? I, okay, this one I can actually talk about. Private okay. party seems good. Don't know a lot about them, but I've been impressed with what I've seen, especially their matches with the Young Bucks have been good from what I've caught. I really don't like uh, Angelico or whatever the fuck and Evans together. At Jack all. Evans? I, yeah. they, they've nev- they always should have been. Super impressive. Like, the first time I ever watched them was in PWG. They had a singles match. And it was so fucking boring. <laughs> it was... They just... For these guys doing flippity floppity do. Jack Evans is, like, the definition of somebody that does not understand ring psychology at all. He just goes out there and just does flippity floppity do. He's kind of like the Young Bucks, but without any semblance of, like, ring structure to a match. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as a team, these guys literally look like they're lost 24-7. I mean, Evans is entertaining. Like, I think both guys are technically sound in terms of being high flyers. But, like, as a team, I've never once been entertained by them. And that's a disappointment because I've always really thought that they would be good as a team. Uh, but for some reason, ah, fuck that. I think they're going to go with Private Party because those guys are being pushed right now. Like, the Bucks have been getting them over on... Twitter and whatnot and a lot, and I, I think that they'd be smart to push a team that's younger, uh, and I just, come on, Jack Evans, at this point of his career, probably shouldn't be one of the uh, top people in a company anymore, so I'm going to go with the uh, the party boys. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to say mine super quick. Yeah, if I was doing the Jabba Radio Prediction League this weekend, uh, 100%, I'd top lock Private Party. Private Party is winning easily, hands down. Uh, what about you, Rab? You, who, who's going to win between the Private Party and... I- and Helico and Jack. I gotta agree 100. Okay. percent They've been pushing the shit out of Private Party just like through media, through social media and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really liked Angelico. Like the only reason, the only way I knew him before this was on uh, Lucha Underground when he was teaming with uh, Matt Cross, whatever they called him, Son of Havoc. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and they they were a really good team. I liked them together. And then when I and I've seen Jack Evans, you know, I've I've known about him forever, and uh, I thought he was good. So I, the first time I saw them as a team was here in AEW, and yeah, I don't like them at all. They have zero chemistry. None. It's like almost like it's two separate single guys just doing their own solo match every time it, I watch exactly it. exactly what it's, it's like. It's weird because I've never seen them, but somebody said in our Discord that they've been a team before. Like before. A long time. No, years. They have. They, yeah. Years they've Which been together strange. and they have zero chemistry. That's None. very strange. Yeah. Uh, so you said also private party, Brad? Yeah, yeah, yeah for, for sure. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Scott? Yeah, private party's winning it. Um, they, they even had in their promo stuff like the Bucks, like their match so much they signed them and all this stuff. Like they're really hyping them up good. Uh, and Helico and Evans, I like them. Um, I think they're fun, but yeah, they don't really work. But I still enjoy them. But they can easily take the loss, and it won't matter for them. It would hurt private party more so. So that's part of why I think it. And point. they haven't got a win yet either, have they? Private party. I think they've been getting all losses too, so they need to win Pri- as well. Private party. No, I thought they won. Did they win a match? Uh, maybe thought, they did. They, they oh no, have. they were in, they were in the three way, and I think uh, the Dark Order took that. So yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Ooh, I love um, the Dark Order. The Dark Order. Yeah, yeah we'll no, get to them in a minute. Yeah, I like that Helico. I like that Helico Evans. They, they're not winning, but they don't need to, so they can afford that loss, and it's fine. People just enjoy the match, which should be a fun ass match, I think. So yeah. Yep. All right. What about you, Lee? Uh, what are you thinking? Private Party or and Helico and Evans? They'd be really fucking stupid not to be pushing Private Party at this point. Yep. That's his bitch. That's, no, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. No. So yeah. No, they're good. They like they they stand out on the yeah. roster as actually being legit, interesting and yep. good and have a future. So, why not fucking push them instead mm-hmm. of 
fucking Slack Evans and, and <laughs> Slack Evans <laughs> or whatever. The fuck. That's that's great. Slack that's Evans, pretty good. You I mean, it? that totally explains him perfectly. Nothing against Jack Evans. I respect how long he's been in the the business and shit. Like I, he does things I could never do. But Jesus Christ, is he so goddamn lazy sometimes? When like he he has these big uh, one of the only guys I've seen go to PWG and totally phoned it in and not give a fuck. Could have cared less. Hmm. Very interesting person. People so, often said that RVD looks unmotivated. Evans makes RVD look motivated. Oh my god, he makes him look like a fucking Bret Hart like technical masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> so the other tag match on the show is we're gonna get a little confusing probably for some of the people in here. Uh, a the winner gets a first round buy in the AEW tag team tournament, which is weird. Hot I don't know if I like that very much. Shit. There's a lot of confusion about this tournament. Um, about how why is there a you know, a first round buy if both of these yeah. teams had to win a match to get to this. Like, why wouldn't it just be in the tournament? I know it's confusing, but we got yeah. the Dark Order versus the Best Friends. My boys. Fuck my bo- well, both of my boys, actually. But Okay, so I guess we'll start with you, Zion. Then who do you got in this? Yeah, I loved the Super Smash Brothers uh, back when I saw them in PWG. I think that they're incredibly talented uh, <laughs> super nerds, but like I am too, so it's cool. Plus, uh, Player Uno is one of my boys in real life. He's a cool dude. Um... But I just like their gimmick, too. I like how they've evolved it into whatever the hell this currently is. It's almost like a Kingdom Hearts gimmick, so that's cool. Oh. And then um, we have uh, the Best Friends, which are just, come on. you can't. How could you ever hate these guys? Chuck Taylor and uh, uh, Trent Beretta. Wait, does he have his first name back, uh, by the way? I've only heard him go by Trent lately. But, I think okay. it's just, I thought it was just Beretta oh, maybe and I'm... Chucky T. I thought okay. it was what they were calling them. Okay, but, maybe that's um, what it is, yeah. We'll but see, I, yeah. but I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know. It's not going to be a technical masterpiece or anything because the best friends aren't really known for that. There's not bad wrestlers by any means, but this is going to be a fun one. Uh, but I, I, I think, I mean, if it was up to me, I would push the best friends over the Dark Order at this point because I think they may not be very, like, over in terms of their, like, wrestling, uh, but, like, Jesus Christ, the fans eat them up. Like, they are, they are absolutely awesome. This whole buy thing, though, I don't understand what the hell that means. Like, why have a buy in your first? Like, you're trying to. This is real. You're trying to crown your first ever tag champions, and like that means the guys who win, which it's not going to. By the way, neither of these teams are going to win. No. That's the whole point. Is well, that's why the Dark Order is probably going to win. So that's like, oh, they didn't have as hard of a time to get in. Then the baby faces win. And you're like, oh, okay, like they won, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Dark Order, even though I think they should go with Best Friends. But uh, okay. yeah, it's going to be a fun match. I'm looking forward. This is one of the few ones I'm actually interested in. Um, I guess I'll go real quick. I, I, I think the Dark Order is definitely going to get the win here. They've been pushing the best friends a lot in They're They're one of the, you know, you talk about the friends with the guys running the show and they've been on all the being the elites and everything. So, and they have been nonstop giving wins to all of the, the being the elite guys and everything. So I think yeah, eventually, kind of I don't like that. eventually they're going to have to start getting losses. And I think this is going to be one right here. They've been pushing the Dark Order relatively good. They've been doing video packages whenever they're not on the shows. They've been doing promos and stuff. So I think they're going with the Dark Order here. Um, <clears throat> and they're going to try to make, because they don't really have a good bad guy tag team, do they? That I know of. Like a no, heel tag I don't team, think so. they're all like faces pretty much. Even the yeah. Lucha Bros, who you know are, I guess they're heels, but not really. So I don't know. I think they're going to try to push the Dark Order, try to get them as a big heel tag team. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to go with. What about you, Rab? My guess. I mean, I love the best friends because who doesn't love Chucky e. T? Yeah, and also I mean, he's the best. I'm so happy he's finally on a national scale because he's he funny. It. He is funny. Yeah, you know what? You, you know. I would say a couple years back, I just assumed he would always be one of these guys that you just like, hey, you remember Chucky e. T from the independent circuit? Yeah. You know, he, and just he never, because there was no competition, and they, he was never going to beat in the day. So, yeah, it's it's really nice seeing him out there. Uh, and Trent is cool, too, and they're really good together, and they're really fun together. But, you know, I, I feel like they've been building up Dark Order, and there's no reason to give them a loss here. Because if, if, if the best friends get a loss, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, both teams no, are undefeated, by the way. I didn't point that out, but both teams are undefeated going into this. I know they've only had a couple shows, but they're both undefeated at this point. So, well, I mean, I wasn't really thinking of that. I just, I just think, sure, sure. People know the best. The, the people who watch AEW know the best friends. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and they're real over or whatever. I think it doesn't matter if they lose. I think it does kind of hurt uh, Dark Order if they lose the way they try to be building them. 
So, and, I mean, I would guess that they're going with the Dark Order. Yeah, and you know what would be weird? Because we haven't seen the brackets for this tournament that they're talking about yet. If, say, say the Dark Order wins and they get the buy in the first round, if they put the best friends in that tournament, that is going to be the dumbest shit, in my opinion, that ever could be done. But, I mean, we'll have to hide and watch and we'll see what they do. But, well, of course they're going to be in the tournament. Why wouldn't they? This, this gives you a buy. Oh, not my a buy God. or you have no chance of being in the tournament. That's terrible. That's terrible. Moving on. Uh, Lee, who do you got going uh, here, winning here? Uh, super squash jobbers. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on now. That was uncalled for. Well, you they're, know. They're, they, I have no... I, I don't give them. a fuck about They're so much fun. They're just so much fun. They're, they're, they're a lot of fun. fun of them. I, I get more fun out of fucking best friends. So There you go. But uh, I squash job. Okay, I will say that Beretta or Trent or whatever the fuck he goes by, um, out of the four and every match that he's been a part of so far, he's the only one that looks like a actual star in the ring. I've brought that up before, but uh, he's going to be the only guy looking like an actual star again in this match, I think. So we'll see. We'll see how. I think he's the guy that like stands out above the others so far. He when is I've a been star. Watching. Like he, he moved up to the heavyweight division in New Japan. Yeah, he just he looks peeped. like, a, like yep. a big dude. Uh, so, but anyway, sorry. Scott, who, who are you going with here? Um, I'm taking Dark Order as well. Probably yeah, because like okay. you, they, you need bad guys and this whole fed so far even the heels everybody Dude, likes that's a good everybody call. that's a good call all the all yeah. the bad guys on the roster are still people that the fans like because it's our guys and these are guys actually getting booed um when they debuted at what double or nothing the announcers acted like like we don't know who these guys are who the hell are these guys what are they doing here so did the crowd, even though it's like <laughs> someone does, but it was interesting because the crowd was fucking dead. They're like, the "Fuck is this?" Yeah, they started chanting the "Who the fuck are you?" or something like that. Yeah, but oh, I mean, you, but I mean, you can't really manufacture that. But I mean, you don't want that either. So that happened. Um, I think they're going to take it because, like I said, best friends can survive that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I'll, I'll be that guy. I don't get the best friends yet. It has oh, I. I love them. I don't get it. I can, I kind of see it, but I'm like, that eh, doesn't work. I don't get it. It doesn't work for me yet. Well, um, so there, there is that. I don't, I don't see that blind faith in them I'll, yet. I'll give you something, Scott, and go watch then. Uh, I think it was episode five of uh, Road to All Out or whatever it is on the AW's page. Um, okay. Go watch that episode, and they do. It starts out showing the best friends, and they do like a little sit down interview with them. So go watch mm-hmm. that, and then okay. maybe it'll help. It maybe it'll help you out. Just saying. So. So what you've just done is said, I'm watching a movie, and in order to understand this part, I need to read the book. No, uh, okay. I should be able to understand it okay, from the sure. product, and I've not understood it from the product. Okay. I, but I get it. That's part of their other product, this other thing. But that's that's my mentality. They've not done enough on the shows themselves to get there. i got to watch another show to understand their main show. I, well, you know, and I, I had brought that up, you know, three episodes ago or whenever the last time I was on this show. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. That you kind of this is this is going to be a problem until they start having weekly shows. Yeah, and I understand that. Um, I get I get that, but they do a weird thing where they don't like they'll mention being the elite or the the building shows during their pay per views or the 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 fighter fest whatever, but they don't really show the stuff. It's like sh- show me clips. Oh, it happened during being the elite one ninety eight. Cool. Show me that. Show me the two minutes. Just, that's all all I want. Just show me the bit. Gotcha. They'll figure that out. They'll get there. They'll get there. Um, but the thing, honestly, what I hate more about this is the fact that the winner gets a buy past the first round. So the winner of this goes to round two. That makes this a first round match. And they had to qualify for it, unlike any other team. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. the only other match we know in the tournament is Private Party versus the Young Bucks is a round one match on, yes. I think, episode one or two of the TV. That's all we know. Everything else, they, The finals are going to be the day before Halloween. That's all, all we know is that. So, yeah, I doubt they'll put the losers in the tournament. Yeah. But, I mean, LAX will probably be in there, and other teams like that are going to show up. So it's going to be interesting. But Dark Order is going to win just to be able to lose to somebody else. Yeah, I think they'll reveal – I hope they reveal, because I love tournaments and stuff. I hope they reveal the brackets at All Out when, when a team wins. Whenever one of these guys win, they'll, we'll get a better picture of how it's going to play out. Yeah. And stuff like that. But, um, but the idea of, of bypassing the first round to have one less match – even though you had a match to bypass the round. Oh, it's weird. Yeah, I guess. And you had to have a match to get to that match. It's th- yep. They had a round zero for these guys. It's fucking dumb. So, uh, so moving on, we have a triple threat match 
which I think has been called like the Cracker Barrel fucking whoop the doo. So oh my because God. Cracker Barrel is sponsoring it. It's the Cracker Barrel something <laughs> they, or another. Do they know what they're sponsoring here? Like, do they know uh, what kind of bullshit they're fucking throwing yes their name at? and no. Of the course they do. It's Cracker Barrel. <laughs> what, this so, is too low for Cracker Barrel? Uh, you're saying, I guess you're not a I Cracker so. Barrel guy, huh? Cracker it's weird a considering cracker it's going to be violent, fun, but it well. is not, you know. You know what? Look, I, I, the, I, the, bis- I, the biscuits the biscuits are real good. The gravy is delicious. But let's not pretend it's some like super high class place. It's fucking Cracker Barrel. Sure. It's, it's fucking <clears throat> But it's it's a recognizable chain, so it's a bit weird to see them back a like a violent match like this. Mud yeah. show shit. Yeah. So, uh, no, I, but much of shit makes perfect sense for Cracker Barrel. I've That's only kind of well, their... <laughs> I've only ate a Cracker Barrel. It's more of a Denny's, ones. isn't it? So, so anyway, no, it's, hey, it's like it's Southern like country Denny's. ass Denny's. It, they're just making this their Waffle House. That's all this is. So, anyways, uh, Joey Janela versus Jimmy Havoc versus Darby Allen Lee. Uh, I guess since you're being some vocal, pretty vocal on this, who do you think is going to win here? Um. They would be smart to give the win to fucking Darby Allen after he already like shortened his career by ten years, fucking taking that bump last time. Um, and don't fucking put any goddamn gold on fucking Jelly Jerkella and the other fucking scrub. <laughs> Jimmy Havoc. <laughs> All right, so you go with Darby Allen, huh? Yeah, Darby right. Allen. Okay, uh, Scott. Uh, Allen, mostly because he had that draw with Cody. And mm-hmm. that like they're in their booking mentality, that means something. Even though he lost to Spears, that built up Spears for their match. Blah blah blah. But Janela, he he's not about winning. He's a guy that can lose and kind of designed for that. And that's not a knock. That's just he's good at that. He can take a beating and do some spots, and it's good. And Havoc, I, he's like the UK version. So it's like, and Allen kind of is too. But Moxley was high on Allen, and a lot of guys are high on Allen. So Allen seems to be the one to take this. I think. In the officially called Cracker Barrel Clash. Clash. There you That's go. So Cracker Barrel Clash. All right, Zion, who do you have in the Cracker Barrel Clash? Uh, I don't care. Oh, okay. So, Not, I just, have no picks. Just throw throw a name. Give us somebody. Give us somebody here. Uh, I'm going to go with Doobie Allen. All right, Doobie Allen. Get in, Doobie Allen. Get in the win in the Cracker Barrel Clash 2019. Yeah. All right. Come on, Doobie. And Rab. <clears throat> um... Yeah, Jimmy Havoc is is he sucks. Fuck Jimmy Havoc. He's, oh. he's, he's shitty. Wow. And uh, Joey Janela also sucks. I don't like him either. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I'm going with uh, Denny Allen. Is this is this uh, is this some CZW hate I'm feeling, or is this just a genuine? You don't. Wait, like he was in guy? CZW. That makes sense. Who, no. Okay. Well, that no. explains everything. No, I'm talking about Jan- uh, Janela and Havoc. Uh, Darby Allen has not, to my knowledge, been in CZW. No. Oh, then he's probably good. I pick him. Then why? Then that's why he's the only not shitty person. He's oh, a GCW he's guy. guy. He's the he's other one. Great. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Oh wait, oh. Man, are we talking insane clown posse? That's like discount CZW. That's JCW. That's J. That's Juggalos. Uh, oh, okay. Not All talking right. about the Juggalos. Not yet, anyway. Not juggalos, yet. Trade the Juggalos and the Juggalettes. Um, Don't trade this home. Whoop whoop. Oh Bummer. my God! By I... the way, did you see he's booked on an actual show? He's gonna be. He's gonna be. What? A... He's no. having a match. He's in a, a <laughs> five-way match where one of his opponents what? is uh, Dick Flip. Uh, Joey. Who uh, is? No. Yeah, who did see that happening? Super. Who his name ta- is Super. Who are we talking about? Okay. His Superhuman. Name... Superhuman. Superhuman's awesome. I love Superhuman. He's great. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he's getting he's... an actual match. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, he's going to get fucking destroyed by their I real hope, workers. They're not going to take care of him at all. I hope he gets, um, I hope he gets it's, broken. It's uh, Joey Ryan, Shark Boy, Jerry Swirls, Chuckles, and Superhuman. October. Oh, oh, never mind. He'll be fine. Those are, all, those are all friendly work. Yeah, that's probably why they took the match, because like, Ryan doesn't give a fuck. He's all about the gimmicks. So. Is that happening um, in dive bar wrestling? Is that what's going to so be? So, I that need to like read... I need to read something from this Cracker Barrel press release. Oh, okay. Cracker Barrel's relationship with AEW spans years as EVPs Matt and Nick Jackson are, quote, super fans of the brand. Cracker Barrel has partnered with the duo in the past to create the now iconic Biscuit Party Caps and has also sponsored three of their matches. With 660 locations in 45 states, Cracker Barrel frequently hosts wrestlers from AEW and their families across the country. That's sad. Wow. It is their Waffle House. They're just... Wow. We like this so much, we're going to partner with them. What the yeah. fuck are biscuit party caps? What are they talking about? Yeah. Biscuits and gravy! Okay, so oh, I think the, I think the Jackson's... is famous for their biscuits. 
I think the Jacksons like the soggy their biscuits. Their biscuits are amazing. <laughs> I'm All a Canadian. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So you don't know what a biscuit is. I, I do, know. but I've yeah, never been so to Cracker Barrel. You. We don't, That's we don't all don't you have need them. to know. I've only been yeah. to Cracker Barrel. What, what other context did you need? I just told you, hey, their 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 biscuits are good. You go, oh, well, we cannot, cannot, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't. It means cooking, nothing okay? to me. <laughs> so, anyways, moving on. Uh, we have. The, I'm not even gonna uh, try to pronounce it. It's a Triple A World Tag Team Title Match. Uh, the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Bros. We've already seen what the was, titles. What was hard to Isn't pronounce there? Es- Escalation no, de la Muerte? Esca- yeah, what he just said. Esca- it, it's not a hard one. Escalera? Do it, guys. Escalera it, guys. de la Muerte. They that could. sounded great. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so... I said Escalation, my mistake. Yes. I-, I was okay with uh, Muerte, but not the first one. I wasn't comfortable. Escalera. Saying. You said it great. Escalera. Okay, not a- you okay. Did a- Anyway, did a fantastic job, Bomber. Well, good. Hey, good. I'm bilingual now. Anyway, here we go. What do you guys <laughs> think about the, the Young Bucks have not lost. They have they are undefeated. They've won every match, including matches against the Lucha Bros already. But the Lucha Bros are defending the tag team titles here. Um, I guess, Rab, you want to start out? Who do you think is going to win here? I mean, are they they are dumb enough to to for, to have the the Young Bucks win? Because I. I uh, maybe. I really feel, and we've talked about it a little bit. We're all all those all the uh, all of them and their friends keep winning shit. Yes, yes, they do. Uh, but I, but I think that you know, at this is the point where they're not gonna because they're gonna be in the doing the tournament for 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 their own world titles. I think Lucha Bros will come up on top here. Finally, you know, having it so you know, just not all the guys from you know being elite uh, are winning everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go Lucha Bros. All right. Uh, I am also going to go Lucha Bros. There's there's no signs to me that the Young Bucks are going to win unless it's, like, you know, Tony Khan or whoever the fuck's run it, picking the win- winners here, going, yo, we got we just got to keep getting the win- uh, wins of the Young Bucks. I can't see any other reason for Young Bucks to win. Um, so I'm also going Lucha Bros. What about you, Scott? Uh, same. And it puts a question mark on the Young Bucks as they go into the tournament. Because, oh, they couldn't win those titles. Can they win these ones, even though they held these titles and defended them last time? Oh, yeah. Um, But it makes the tournament more interesting, I think, by having them lose here. Yeah. Plus, the Lucha Brothers are probably going to have to drop them to AAA soon anyway, once the TV starts for AEW. I don't know what the time frame for that is, but that gets to be the whole thing. Like, we don't really want them doing much in Mexico if we can help it because we don't want them getting hurt because Phoenix is a crazy man jumping off shit and fucking up his neck or his yeah, leg. Yeah, hurt his leg there, the other night. People heard... thought he broke his leg last week. He oh, didn't. Thank but God. that's... Dude, could you imagine? Oh, this match is off too. No mocks. I know this. That's Cut that stuff back. So if they can keep them out of that and have them drop the titles and not do AAA, which probably is not a thing. That's probably the contracts for those guys to do it. Whatever. Yeah. It, you just don't put them on the Young Bucks. They don't need to have someone else's titles in this federation when they're going to launch mm-hmm. their O's on TV. It's dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, Zion, who do you think? Yeah, well, before I say who I think is going to win, uh, no more other companies' titles in your... That is just like, I hate that. I've always hated that. When WWE does it, like, you can do some cross-promotional things in one small, like, hey, it's their champions versus our champions. Yeah. But defending belts in another company, especially when it's an upstart, I guess you can get away with it for a little bit, like TNA did back in the day with NWA belts. Mm-hmm. But, like, all it's going to do is make your belts less uh, valued at the end of the day because sure. you're like oh there's a we're acknowledging that there are other belts out there and ours are just another set of belts so they need to get that shit out of here as soon as possible focus on your own damn belts um and i hope that the young bucks don't win because they don't need it you got to push some other people the bucks can lose a, for a thousand years and that they're still going to be over in their own fed there's no reason for them to suck their own dicks so hopefully uh that they do the right thing and just let let the uh they, they kind of do suck their own dicks though yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of have to when you have your own fed, but yeah. I think it's, that they'll do the right thing. It's it's a reason guys like Vern Gagne was a ten time AWA champion because he's yeah. never gonna go away. You can always put it back on him. So mm-hmm. that's they could see, we could see Young Bucks as like eight time AEW. Oh, they'll champion. get it. They'll get it at some point. I just don't think yeah. they should be the first. No, they won't. But they'll get it and they'll have it multiple times because they're never gonna go him. anywhere. I could see him being the first. <laughs> I'm actually, I don't think it's guaranteed. The moment I said that, I'm like, yeah, you know what? The I would yeah, not be surprised if they're the first ever champs. But um, Ali, who who do you got winning this one? Uh, I feel like uh, the Bucks are going to eat the soggy biscuit in this one, so uh, it's going to be it's going to be the Lucha Bros winning. There you go. So everybody's pretty. I've noticed a lot of these matches. We've all been very one sided. Everybody's picking the same people. So 
I guess we'll see how we finish here, but it may be a super predictable pay-per-view. Um, all right, moving on next. Everyone was done, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, Cody Rhodes versus, or just Cody, sorry, or whatever, versus Sean Spears with Tolly Blanchard. Now, uh, first things first, I want to throw out there. I don't know if you guys are even aware of this yet, but I've been watching uh, the you know Road to All Out, and in the little promo for this match, it was laid out. Each person is allowed to have one representative in their corner. Sean Spears is having Tolly Blanchard. Who is Cody going to have? Is it going to be, you know, his wife? Is it going to be his brother? Is it going to be, they said it even could be his dog, Pharaoh or Pharaoh or whatever it is. <laughs> That's so dumb. I don't know. It be uh, Arn Anderson. I don't know. That would be cool, but I don't know if it's possible. Ar- Arn Anderson is very likely, by the way. That would be very, uh, very With Blanchard? Big. Yeah, I'd that, like that. But what if I, they just got all the four horsemen? Like everybody has one horseman in their corner. That would be there you go. <laughs> no. Flair's out there drunk, hitting on Brandy. I don't he dies on their event. <laughs> you know what? I think I the idea I had I thought was really good, but dude, you just when you said on your engine, that blows mine out of the Now I look stupid now, I th- I feel. I mean well, it what makes you, sense. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say it would be awesome if we got his Blanchard uh uh, Blanchard, uh, Tessa, Tessa Blanchard out there. I don't know if it's, I even know if it's possible, you know, contract. No, she's, she's signed to impact. She won't be signed right. like exclusively. Is this exclusive? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. She's exclusive. Oh yeah. If yeah you can't she, appear on TV for anybody else like that. Impact, no impact doesn't do. Okay. You know. No okay. impact. And them are not together. That's why they pulled cage off a of double or nothing. Okay. Well then, yeah, he was going to uh, appear and they're like, no, don't do it. So yeah, they're not going to do it. Okay. Well then, yeah. So and mine's even if they couldn't, the... how does that make any sense? Because the, the, uh, the, the Blanchard connection. And then I th- was hoping but that she would, would like turn. Yeah, but she Cody has Blanchard nothing with Tessa. And turn Tessa's on... literally main eventing impact oh, right now. Well, yeah, yeah oh, true. It's going to be the four horsemen. Very true. The four, all four horsemen? Yeah, every four. They're going to even bring back one of the dead ones, probably. I don't know who's dead, though. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Uh, oh, Benoit. Uh, Benoit. It'll be Benoit. I was I was say, Benoit. Yeah. Benoit is the only one I know of right off the top of my head. Uh, yeah. But, okay. It's actually, Mongo. Ar- 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 yeah, it'll be dead? Mongo. Mongo he, McMichael. No, he not. Anyway. No, no Mongo's alive? Okay, I don't no, know. Mongo's alive. Well, yeah. Who killed Mongo? Put him in the death pool. Okay. <laughs> Um, so anyway, who do you guys, I guess we'll start with Lee on this one here. Who do you got winning this one? Cody or Sean Spears? Uh, I would personally have Cody win, but maybe they're trying to make Sean Spears into like a big heel, even though he's basically just that reject from WWE that no one cares about. So, um, it's really up in the air. I'm, I'll, I'll just say fucking Cody. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Lee, Scott, sorry. Sorry, Scott. Jesus Christ, even you did it. Hey, I um, try. Cody probably, uh, like I said, the whole thing, Cody couldn't beat Allen, but in the tag match, Spears did. So there's the, oh, he can do it. And he also leveled him with that chair. And he's got Tully, which, I mean, that's a Rhodes family thing. Like, Cody's probably going to have Dustin because Dustin's not on the card. But neither is MJF. So maybe he'll be on it. Like, we're, these guys should probably be on this card. What the fuck is going on? How is MJF not here? But whatever. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, and like I said, Dustin isn't either. It's just, it's odd, but uh, Spears really should win. Otherwise, he gets neutered in uh, like out of the gate because this whole thing is uh, whatever this aim for the target. I, I don't know. He, I don't know why he wanted to hit him with a chair. Like he's, you can laugh about it, but he is a WWE reject. <laughs> mm-hmm. Literally, he asked to be out. His whole dream was to be there. He's like, no, I don't want it. And now he's here. He's making a stab for it. It's great, but. He peaked when he hit him with the chair. It's not going to be a super fantastic, awesome match. I don't think. Like it's. Uh, I agree. Yeah. It's it's going to be fine, but when you really think about all out, you know, all in two basically, Cody versus Spears. All right, like that could have easily been like a debut TV match, but this does not scream. Oh, I got to buy it for that. And, and and to be fair, it's one of the ones with the biggest build. It's just I don't care. All right. So so Cody is who I'm picking. Okay. They should Spears should win, but it's going to be Cody. All right. Um, unless he hits him with a chair again, and then he takes the loss because he gets DQ'd. But he hit him again. Oh, uh, Zion, who are you feeling here? No, it's going to be Spears, guaranteed. Oh, this okay. is their this is going to be one of their top heels, would like it or not. So I actually be... like him. I like him actually. I think the whole uh, putting him with Blanchard was a great idea because it gives him a little bit of credibility, even though he can talk. Uh, I don't, I don't, I saw some people talking shit about it when they paired him. They were like, oh, he can already talk. He doesn't need a mouthpiece. Who gives a fuck? Like, you have two people I can talk now. It gives him a little bit of street cred, and uh, he's going to win, guaranteed. Can totally I don't, talk, I don't... though? 
Can know. Spears talk? No, yeah. totally. Can totally? Talk. Oh yeah, he can. Fucking oh my talk. god, he's an OG talker. Yeah, okay. he's one of the. He, yeah, he was neck and neck with Flair back oh, in the day. Absolutely. Listen to his promos back there. I, They're I, fire. Yeah. One of my and favorite he, matches ever is him and uh, Magnum TA in a steel cage match back yep. in the day. And he still got it. He can still talk. It's just yeah. overshadowed by the fact that he was at his heyday in a time when Arn Anderson and Ric Flair were in the same fucking group as him talking. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just wasn't familiar. With that, but yeah. Sorry, you heard the Binding of Isaac? I had a great run. That was awesome. Uh, no, but okay. Good. <laughs> um, no, that's a chat. <laughs> oh, uh, Rab. Rab, what do you think here? You think Sean Spears as well? Uh, No, I think, well, I don't know. I really have no idea. If they both, it, it makes sense for him to win, but also Cody's Cody and Cody might just win. Uh, John Spears though did marry Peyton Royce. Like, yeah, I don't think she's uh, all that. Ago. Oh, got mentioned on WWE Wait as. Uh... What you say? I don't think she's all that. No thanks. Wait a minute, you're a timeout though. I'm out. I'm out. Like that bird looking motherfucker. Uh, how dare you <laughs> one say... say that she looks like a bird, and how dare you win? <laughs> may or may not. Man. Well, where this she, conversation is going, she she looks like she was just like she was just born from a bird egg. Hey, guess what? Bird's the word, and I want to stick my dick in it. All right, gobbledygook. <laughs> oh, there you go. Bright squad is so goddamn hot. All all three of them. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, uh, I don't know how we got here, but because he made fun of my girl Ruby oh, okay. Wright, and yeah, I think that he it. should die for that. Okay. Well, well I don't geez. want to die though. I love that was that was it. That got sorry, I got a little quickly. dark. I apologize, Whoa. but just don't make fun of my uh... Escalera de la Muerte is right. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Episode one hundred. <laughs> Zion wishes death upon Rab. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so Rab, you are you going with Cody officially? I, I am going with Cody. Okay. I am going with Cody. Okay. Can I? Too know many times that? though. He's it's time for him to lose. He's won too much. <laughs> Don't forget, they could always just have it be he's won too much. Overall. This is their second pay per view. No, it's their third overall show though. He just or keeps fourth, winning and winning yeah. and winning. Eventually, he Don't, has to fucking lose. He actually went went to the draw. Yet. Don't they forget, gotta he build went... this matchup though. They can't just have him win because then it just destroys Spears. It gives Spears like what they all should, credibility. I said, I said Spears should win. I just don't think that's yeah. what they're gonna do. Don't I forget, think, Cody didn't Cody's beat Allen. They went to a draw. These guys could go to a time limit draw. Yeah, Cody's not they, an idiot. They, Cody's got to like build that. people. To, Cody's Triple H right now in this company. He's not an idiot. He's got to build opponents for himself. He can't just keep mowing through every single person that comes why after you, him. So why, he's got to take Triple a loss here. He didn't mow Allen. I'm saying he's done this before. He'll go to a draw to make him look on No, but I mean, like, just, just like being the dominant one. He's got to look weak every once in a while. You don't want your baby face just looking constantly dominant because that's just I, not going to go anywhere. Nobody true. wants to see I will say the that. unstoppable Cody Rhodes baby face because he's not, he's no Triple H. I will say, to well, I don't think Cody, I, I think Cody eventually and sooner than later is not going to be a baby. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably, but I do think he's going to have a run first though because he's a, he, they're basically pushing all of their known names as the baby faces and well, all the unknowns that's really as the All you can do when you're not running shows. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a smart move, but I just think it's weird to say that Cody is just guaranteed to win. I just don't see it. I think he's, I think he's thinking long term, especially with TV. Take a loss, push a heel, ride a cowboy. Uh, oh yeah, we'll get up to Hangman Page soon. But um, actually, I didn't give my picks for that triple threat because it reminded me because you said the same thing. I think Sean Spears should win, but I yeah. think they're going to give the win to Cody. I, I'm in the same boat because I think Joey Janela should win, but I think they're going to give the win to Darby Allen, which is what no. I was. Why would you have a jobber win? Uh, well, especially I mean, when Enzo punked him out. We just said they're all jobbers earlier, but anyway. Um, I mean, but, Janela's like, I like him, but he's like the definition of like jobber. Well, okay. So um, I also am. Go- <laughs> yes. Okay. And he sucks. <laughs> he I don't think he sucks. I think he's pretty fun, but he's just, he's just a jobber. Oh, I hate him. I can't, I, I can't stand anything he has to do with. Uh, okay, well that's that's an unpopular opinion I think because a lot of people really do like. No, I'm yeah, with man. you. I'm with you. I can't stand it. Him. But that's good. More that's good opinion, in wrestling. And I've lost track of everyone since then. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not well, a bad thing to be that in wrestling though. Like if you yeah, if you're that guy, money. Cool, sell it exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he's making money. Whatever. Uh, I'm not telling him to quit. I just don't want to see him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, 100%. If I was booking this show, yes, I would 100% give the win to Sean Spears. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of stuff that Zion was just saying, like, they need to build more bad guys, like, yeah. in this company where everybody just gets cheered for every single fucking match, except MJF yeah. because he's amazing, who's not on the card. What the fuck? 
Um, yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't put Blanchard with him just because to have him lose. They put yeah. Blanchard with him to build him as a credible heel for Cody later. Well, if Co- Cody's going to have somebody in his corner, if it is Arn Anderson, does that change anything for you, or do you still? Yeah, he it? turns on him and <laughs> helps Sean Spears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. cool. Yeah. If does he the had... Horsemen run together? Yeah, exactly. yeah, of course. The Horsemen never turn. They always like what WCW. That was classic Horsemen. They always feigned a heel uh, turn and they yeah. never turned on each other. And especially, they're going to turn on a Rhodes. That would yeah. be. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. See? Okay. Yeah. I guarantee it. There's no fucking way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Anderson. He turns. Yeah. Spears that would wins. be, that would actually would be pretty cool. And if Anderson does show up, could he also just like intervene in the three way and like beat up those two geeks? Like, <laughs> just like, give them, them some like, spine busters. Shoot on them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. No, uh, I think we should be booking the AEW guys. That's pretty good stuff. But I'm still going to go, even though I think Sean Spears should win, I'm thinking I'm going Cody as well. Oh, and I, this thing, I could easily see Cody win. Because they might be like, let's do this and fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. But, um. So moving on, we got two matches left. Uh. Right before we do, I will. We got three left. You didn't mention the six man tag. Oh, yes, you are correct. Okay. There's a six. We'll do that first. Then. Ah, uh, there's yeah. a six man tag. We got Luchasaurus, oh, Jungle Boy, and Marco Stunt. I love Jungle Boy. Versus. Oh. I love Luchasaurus. Versus yeah, he's great. All three they're, they're, I love their whole like team. They're fun. Yeah, versus I hate like, Marco Stunt. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a lot of hate and a lot of love in here. Okay. Fuck so, them. They're all performance artists. Versus they are versus SCU. We got Kazarian, Scorpio SCU. Sky, and the one and only Christopher Danielson. Daniels. Sorry, I, that was a mistake. The one and wow. only. The God one and only. only. The one and only yeah. Brian Danielson. The uh, one and only Christian Danielson. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I guess Lee, who are you going? Are you going with uh, the Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt and them? Here? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Jesus Christ, those fucking geeks. They're probably. Gonna uh, I, I hope they don't win. I hope they go away. I hope they don't get contracts. Oh, they're so going to be pushed. Oh, they have contracts. They're used to it. You, Lee, oh, they I do. Can they hear already Marco Stunt is your... signed. Lee, I can hear it in your voice that you know they're going to win. Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, why, yeah, that's, that's why I'm not going to watch that shit. Let's fuck this crap. There you go. And this is on the main pay-per-view, by the way. Just heads up on this. This is not on the buy-in. This is on the show. So just Yeah, we're, yeah why... private parties matches on the buy-in. Buy yeah, that's, that match stunt... seems way better, actually. Yeah. Can, can Marco stunt break his leg again? Maybe. Two. Oh, come on. That's fucked. There it is. I was, I was there when he it's did. It's fucked <laughs> that he's letting the fucking business, that little kid. Oh, whatever. He's fine. He's the, he's the weakest of the team, but because oh, I really yeah. like Luchasaurus um, and Jungle Boy a lot. Like I think Jungle Boy has a huge upside in the company. I think he could easily be one of their like top underdog guys. Um, um, Mar- Marco Stunt needs to go do his homework. He needs, he needs to get home <laughs> early for bed for school. <laughs> so I assume you're picking SCU then. Hell yeah, pal. Okay. Uh, Scott, who are you taking? Uh, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, Marco really? Stunt. Really? They have a team name, don't they? Yeah, well, it's a boy and his dinosaur. That's okay. the team of, And yeah. then they seem to call it a boy, a boy, and his dinosaur. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, How creative. Like there you that go. seems to be what they're doing with it. Um, that, name's, that name's hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's pretty yeah. good. Luchasaurus, uh, like, he got over fucking huge in the last couple of shows, and, like, the crowd eats awesome. it up. Yeah. He's and he's, awesome. he's fun, and he's good. Um, he's a really good Boy, wrestler, yeah. Yeah, he's fun, he's good, and there's also Marco Stunt. I do not like him, but I get the crowd does, and fair enough. Um, yeah. SCU are just, they're great, they're good dickbag heels, they're a lot of fun, but the crowd loves that team as well, so it's like, ah, we gotta heal them up, so... Mm-hmm. If they do that, they'll do dirty tactics and the crowd will boo them because they beat the fan favorites. But I think Luchasaurus' team is going to win it because I actually think Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy have a shot at being the first tag champs. I actually think they might go with them. Mm. So they got to win that to be in the tournament to actually make it matter. So that's my pick for that and why. Interesting. Because I know Scorpio Sky and Kazarian are probably going to be in that tournament as well. But Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. So, uh, Rab, who are you going with here? Uh. I don't. I'm also not a fan of Luchasaurus or Jungle Boy or Marco Stunt at all. Oh. Uh, not that they can't win me over. I just don't. Just because you're not they a fan, not though, won. they can still win this match. People, people be loving Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Yeah, no, they're Marco great. Stunt. I love. But them. people I... be loving Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Yep. Yeah. But they I haven't really won the bar wrestling. So. I'm open well, to I, it. I I said the same thing about private, or uh, best friends. I get it. Yeah. I'm open to it, but I just they haven't won me over. Uh, so I would like it to be SCU. I love SCU, but they're old. Mm, yeah. Well, uh, Daniels can't be going for much longer. I can't imagine. I, I think he, they were already saying he was 
talking about retirement and then they gave him a shitload of money and he's like, all right, well, fine. But his body, I mean, like that dude, if you ever want to say one of the greatest, not even one of, he's probably the greatest independent wrestler of all time because we this guy, that show. we already we did that, that show. Oh, did you? Okay. Well, I wasn't you, there, so it didn't matter. I I'm going to pull you, a page out of your book. Yes, you were there. You were there. Yeah. No, I wasn't. hundred percent. Yes, yeah, you were dude, absolutely yes. there. He is. It's insane. Daniel Bryan. How, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. We, we, we're not going to reveal who is. won, but we'll just say Christopher Daniels did not win. And he was in the bracket. Oh, I think that's, I think that's a huge Huge mistake. I'm going to go back and change Spoilers, that. Rab. Spoilers. Don't be giving spoilers out of here. Brian, Brian Daniels. Wait. Wait. Jesus oh, okay, Christ. Oh, okay. okay. Good. Now, now, no. Thank you. Uh, we go go back and listen. Yes, uh, best in the business. Okay, it, it, you were on it. And but... yes, you were there, Robbie. No, I don't. I don't know. That seems like fake news. I'm gonna. I want to go back and listen to who you voted for and what you said. Now that you're I'm sure he Brian. voted for for, for yeah, Brian, Brian Danielson. Yeah, Probably. but I'm saying about. I'm saying in terms of somebody who uh, really never like this is his first time he's been in a major company that I would call a major company because TNA never really. He was in WCW. Company, in no, as a as a fucking long haired jobber, he wasn't like a. Well, big he just started. Anything. He was breaking in, but yeah. I'm yeah, just... but that doesn't mean that that counts yeah, as a run. That, that's like saying he was in the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, he did a couple of dark matches. Like, oh yeah, he had a run, hell of a run. Well, he was on TV at least. Anyway, sorry, keep going. Or 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 don't. Okay, so. Uh, uh, I, what? <laughs> I, oh, I thought I thought you were making a point with that. I thought but... somebody else was talking, and I interrupted. Yeah. Him, I, but... I, I, I guess yeah, you're right. I was I got so interrupted by you that I forgot that I was. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're old. So who you are you know? picking? Who are you picking? We're talking about how their body's gonna fall apart because Daniel's been around forever, but so has you know Kazarian's been around forever too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you same know? Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky's been around for years and years and years. That was the whole point why I think they did this team was it was the idea is uh, that they don't have to work as hard because all of them are older, so now they can just form a team and then they can you know just do their shit. Yeah, the best part is that Scorpio Sky is clearly the young guy in the team. Yeah, is not anywhere near a young guy. No, not at all. All three of them are veterans, hundred percent. So who are you going with, Rap? Uh, yeah, I'm going with Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Okay. Uh, Zion, are you go- who are you going with? Yeah, hundred percent Luchasaurus, uh, Jungle Boy, and uh, the little midget dude. They're gonna. They're especially. I'm telling you, I I'm calling it now. If Jungle Boy stays healthy, I think he's gonna be one of their main people. Because he's got, not only does he have the whole fact that his dad, you know, super celebrity, uh, uh, rest in peace, but also the fact that he's just got something. When he comes out, he uh, they immediately pay attention to him. He's just got some sort of weird intangible. Like, I hate saying that. He's got that Randy Orton aura. Mm. But he's just got it. You he's know. got uh, he uh, such not. a fun uh, fun character. And he's just really fun in the ring. I've never watched one of his matches in board ever. So uh, I want to see them do more with him because I think they can make him into a big star. I'm in the same boat as Rab as far as I'm not, like, really into these guys at the moment. I'm definitely – I don't think I'll ever really be into Marco Stunt. But uh, Luchasaurus definitely has a presence. I really liked his uh, showing in the Casino Battle Royale um, at uh, Double or Nothing. But Jungle Boy, I, get, I just haven't seen whatever you're talking about yet. I guess I just have to watch more and maybe I'll pick him. up on it. But he looks like a jobber. And well, he's also super new to the business. I don't think he's been around for very long. No, I don't so if he's so this decent in the ring at this stage of his career, if he stays healthy, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, I think. I, and also I, his I, gimmick is really marketable. I hate being that guy. I really do, but I'm just being, you know, I'm being honest and realistic. When you I say he's lie to me. Well, when he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, when I see a guy that's yeah. like 5'5", five, five, I can't. That's the like, whole appeal of yeah. I, I, when I, hear, I know of a short guy. I, I'm just saying – a force to be reckoned with at 5'5". Okay, five, so we're going it's back like, to the Daniel so, Bryan thing. He's not I, tall Southern enough. Southern wrestling bullshit. I'm just being honest. I'm just, I just can't see no, that. Daniel dude. Bryan is one of the top dudes in WWE, and just because he's small doesn't mean shit. He's a now, good wrestler, Daniel he's a great Bryan, character, and that's the Jungle Boy. Daniel people. Bryan has evolved over time. And, you yeah, know, and so is, is Jungle is Boy. Much that's better. what I mean. Give him some time, and he's he's okay. gonna do wonders. I, I'm not writing him off. I'm saying I'm just not yeah, seeing it are. now. I'm saying I'm seeing it now. <laughs> I've I never no, wrote it's, Daniel it's, Bryan it's the same off. We're saying like you just don't get the the appeal on it yet. Yeah, it's fair. I'm just saying I have a hard time seeing it, but if it happens, I'll okay. It happens. I I think it's been obvious on the show that you guys for some reason think I hate Daniel Bryan, but I've yeah, complimented yeah. Daniel Bryan so much on this show. At the end of the day, though, you really wish that they had just held that midget down. Though I know what's up. Um. Anyway, okay. We <laughs> finally got you to admit that you hate that you hate his guts. Not too. I've never rolled back. Oh, thank you, Rab, for being the voice of reason. Never hit his gut. So here we go. Moving on. Um, 
Uh, the Pac versus Omega, Kenny Omega. Well, first of all, we'll say this before we get to that match. Who do you think would have won between Moxley and Omega? Moxley. Um, does everybody think Moxley oh, would have won? Or Moxley, somebody... yeah. I think Moxley, yeah. Probably. Yes. Right? I agree that oh, okay. Moxley would have won. Yeah. They can't do Jericho and Omega a thousand times. Like, eventually they have to do something fresh. Um, oh, oh, so you basically think this is a number one contender match type deal, kind of? Yeah, I do. I think whoever okay. was going to win. Well, not anymore, but I think not it anymore. was designed to be a number one contendership at first. Well, who do you think it might also, go Also, I think they want to break down. The, or yeah, yeah, I think they want to break down Omega so that he can rebuild himself, you know? Yeah. Well, I do think he's going to beat Pac here, though, because Pac isn't going to be, like, a permanent member of the roster. So I don't see them putting over a guy who's under contract somewhere else that they've already had disputes with. They probably got last minute for, you know, obvious reasons because Moxie got hurt. I, this is going to be Omega getting the win here. Plus, he's already got the loss with Jericho, so I, I see them keeping him okay. uh, at least semi-strong. But then I can see what Rab's saying. Then they start breaking him down and having him, you know, go on a losing streak and get back to it. All right, so there's Zion. He goes with uh, going with Omega. Rab? Yeah, uh, for all the reasons, you know. I'll, I'll consider that this answer was tag-teamed between. So... So you got so you both are saying you think Kenny Omega is going to win, but now that this match has changed, Kenny Omega is not going to go for the world title, is what you're saying? Like, I don't yeah. think he was. I don't think so. No, because I thought it was always going to be Moxley. Well, who would then? Who's going to go after the title now after this? After the show? Well, we'll see how they build. Okay. Well, and well, there's not going to be much of a build because there's going to be the first episode, and then the second episode has the first defense of this title. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe they are going to do Kenny Omega and Jericho again. I hope they don't though, because I'm over it. But uh, I mean, they're always good matches. Or they're just, Kenny Omega. Do new. Or Kenny Omega and Hangman Page. But anyway, let's yeah, they uh, might do a rematch. It might be like no. a fuck finish or something. You never know. I just I can't see them putting the belt on Hangman. I just yeah. can't. I know so many people are saying that it's yeah. a guarantee, but I mean, like. Looking back in the history of the company, I can't. I just can't see Hangman being the guy that they're like. That's our first champion ever. Put so, it on the guy who has credibility. So Scott, who are you going with here? Uh, Omega or Pac? Omega. Um, it's just he seems to be like it was going to be all Omega and Moxley toward the title. And it was going to be Moxley winning it and blah blah blah. It, it really was a two match show when they announced it because they announced Page and. Jericho when they announced Omega and Moxley. It was all built on these two. Pac is a fun get. It's going to be a fun match. It's not a replacement for me for Omega and Moxley. It's not enough to make me want to buy it. So there's that. Um, but at the same time, yeah, there's no way Pac is winning. The whole reason he apparently didn't come in before was the Dragon Gate didn't want to have their champion losing to anybody while he was champion. Yeah. Well, he's not champ anymore. So uh, that goes out the window. Um, He's still not under contract. Though. That's my. That's what I no, think. No, exactly. Yeah. Um. So Omega wins it, and um, yeah, I. It's. I, I just. Eh. So so with what uh Zion you were saying earlier, you don't think Pac's going to be like a you know mainstay on the show. I. No. Why do you say that? I feel like they plan on having that because even like they're no, their first I mean, conferences. They did plan. They took they got rid of him. Obviously, like something came up, and they were like, "Well, he's a part of another company," and if they're smart. You're not going to put over some guy who's not under contract who you have like a, an agreement with another company over your top dudes. That's just horrible. That would be horrible booking if they put Omega under like that. I feel like Pac was going to appear and attack somebody on this show to kind of play off the stuff from Double or Nothing and not appearing on it. Mm -hmm. And it turned into, dude, we need you to wrestle, actually. I feel like that's how they were able to turn around that quickly because he yeah. was going to be there anyway, is my thought. Um, but he wasn't going to be there for like a thing. He's going to be there and show up and then maybe show up at the next pay-per-view. Like that it'd be in their interest to have guys who aren't always around in a weird sort of off season. They have talked a weird bit about that where the show might feature 30 people, but their roster is 50 and they'll kind of move people in and out and not always be active. That yeah, could you be don't job when you're, you're Stone Cold Steve Austin to a guy exactly. that's no, not under true. contract. It's yeah. fucking Kenny Omega. He's yeah, like, if boy. you look at this their guys, Cody, Bucks, and Omega... Omega's arguably the top of that, and they, they even one, say yeah. that they and the four of them would say that. So yeah, he was a big get for them. Gotta win that, okay. I think. Uh, Lee, who are you going with here, Pac or Kenny Omega? Noted performance artist Kenny Omega. Okay, so everybody going with Kenny Omega, except me. Um, why? And I'm going to tell you why. Here it is. Uh, we, we, because I was looking at this match as a normal contender match as well. And guess what? 
Uh, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. For me, anyway, I could be way wrong, but Pac wins, Hangman wins. We get the match that we were waiting to see earlier. For the we're not. We already saw it. They put it on and they broadcast it. No, 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 no. Nobody it fucking was the match and they brought. No, no, they did. Oh, that's a good defense. No, no they absolutely did. No, it was. It was an AEW that? match and they posted it? it on their channel. Did you watch it? I, absolutely, hundred percent. I watched it okay. the moment they put it up. I'm like, cool. I'll watch this. It's okay. an AEW match. You Neat. watched it. They broadcast it like it was AEW. Period. Okay. AEW. Okay. Broadcast it on their YouTube. Okay. You want to talk about doing homework? It was they on, did it. It was on YouTube though. But I mean, that to me, that's mm -hmm. uh, okay. Right, I mean, so they gave I it away for I, free before their own show, and you're going to try to build it toward a paid thing later. Well, no, I can see would, them doing that. I don't know. But... I'm not saying paid. I'm saying it'd be on their TV show, so it would be free. Do you think he signed though? Like, do you think they actually signed Pac? Because if they signed him, then I could I'd agree with you. I, but I don't think he's under contract. When they did their whole, unless they changed mm. some views with what you were just talking about after the whole dispute they had, uh, when they had like their press conference and everything and Pac came up, Pac was like one of the very first guys yeah. that they even showed. No, he's, he is signed, but it's yeah. not exclusive. See, okay. I, I pictured him as yeah. being, this is one going to be one of our main eventers that we're going to focus on for a long time. That's how I took, I mean, this just might be me, you know, misinterpreting how they're going to fo uh, focus on him. But when he debuted, like during that press conference, I thought I was like, okay, this is like one of their top guys. But again, that's just what I think. But it, I may be wrong. Who knows? Um, but I think Pac is going to be a mainstay on the roster. And I think that he's going to get an upset win over Kenny Omega, who, in my opinion, everybody's already when they when they see the replacement. A lot of times, by the way, when you do have a replacement, usually the replacement will win, by the way. <laughs> again, this is AEW. They may do things different. Who knows? Uh, they won't. I mean, they might not. I don't know. But I could, I could see Pac win. I absolutely could see Pac win. Mm -hmm. It'd be weird. I don't agree with it, but I could see it. I could see them doing it. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm probably in the minority here, along, along with the like, uh, when you compared everybody watching the show, who's who they think is going to win. But I think it's going to lead to a Pac Hangman Page match on television where people are actually going to watch it. Oh, yeah. I don't think that that puts okay. butts in seats. Okay, uh, I mean, I mean, the, the you know, tickets are already sold. Butts are already in the seats. That's that's no, true. But I mean, like for like a like a like a building your top feud. I just I don't think that that's the right. You got to have one dude who's like a Jericho level, like or a Kenny o, like I guess Kenny Omega, but like a, a Jericho level, like a like a legend to bring in the casual fans. Okay. I don't think any casual well, fans are coming in for Kenny Omega and uh, Pac yet. They will if they build them up right, but that's that's not going to bring in some dude that watched. WWE, uh, you know, 10 years ago. Well, you Jericho heard what, will. Well, Cody Rhodes said they're not catering to those people. They're catering. Oh, to yeah, he's right. lying. Yeah, he's lying. They just paid Chris Jericho a uh, billion dollars. I mean, he's lying. I mean, he could be. It, it, that's just a bullshit statement from Cody because they wouldn't have signed Jericho and focused on getting Moxley if they weren't focusing on some former WWE guys. They have sure. to. Well, so, so let's uh, let's talk about it here. World title match. Uh, Jericho Hangman Page. We'll say we'll save Zion. I think. Well, we already know who Zion's going for. So, I'm Rab. Good, so let's go. Yeah, Rab. Let's go with you first here. Wait, wait. If you already know what I'm going for, let me talk first. Fine, just go. Just go then. He has to win. I don't. I don't. I see so many people going like Jericho doesn't have a chance. It would be such a mistake to pay the money that they paid and to get this guy who was a legend to do break his one rule, which was never to sign with anybody but Vince. And then go, nah, we're just going to give it to Hangman Page, who arguably is the least known member out of all of the elite. Easily. I don't think he is the, out of all the main five or whatever, nobody knows who Hangman Page is the most. So why would the fuck would you put your belt on him? Now, if you want him to beat Jericho in like a longer feud, that's perfectly acceptable. But in like 10, 15 years, if this company makes it, and they go, look at it, it's Hangman Page. That no, it's Jericho. You give it to the guy who who left Vince his guaranteed for life paycheck and is doing like I'm sure he's doing it for the money, but he has to also be doing it because this interests him. Like he's he's taking a very huge risk to his career to help this company out. Oh, sure. And sure. I just it would be such a mistake to not have Chris Jericho always be the guy that is your first ever champion it just instantly brings credibility to it whereas page might bring creative credibility to it but page also might flop immensely jericho's a guaranteed home run i just cannot see them giving it to anybody else god i want to go next so bad all right uh so uh, we're going to go with scott then scott wait, yeah wait 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 
I was supposed to How go about first, you guys? then I got interrupted. Oh, no, so that's, that's interrupted fair. Again. That's fair. Oh, go ahead. My. Okay. I agree. Okay, no. Rab, who you got? I don't really care. I don't. <laughs> See, <laughs> that no, is, no, no. I knew, is I knew, no. I knew no, the second fair. he it interrupted. Was his turn. It was his turn. To not care. I, I thought he was going to say, I don't know. I didn't know. I mean, I knew he was going to say something along those lines, but he went with, I don't care. I thought he was going to go, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, pick one right now. You're going. You're going now. Who you got? Uh, ditto. ditto. I'm going to go ditto. Everything. Everything. I actually ditto was going to say who? the exact Zion? same thing that Zion was going to Every word, word for uh, word? Okay. It's w- word for word. It's real weird. Ditto. I like how I'm getting the main event and you're like, I don't care. But uh, okay, uh, fine. It, are, it really is what I care le- least about. Funnily enough, that's because, crazy. That's crazy. But that's because I, I just don't have any interest in the match. I don't really like pay, Hangman Page at all. He's got a sick theme, though. Uh, I do like his, song, his theme song a lot. Okay. So, and and it doesn't actually matter, believe it or not. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to Scott next. Scott. I I even have to comment on you saying it's crazy. He doesn't care about the main event. There's plenty of times when the main event isn't the most interesting match. So this. There's there's that. Remember, sure. Um, I mean, well, I'm, I mean, like this is the first ever world title. This is like the biggest moment of this company's short career. And think short about how it was yeah. easily remember, the second, at, at most, the second of everyone's favorite matches. You know, looking yeah. for every because it was all Omega o- Mox. Like. Omega Mox was all anyone was talking about. Well, I don't. I mean, depends how you look at. it. I wouldn't say all anyone was ever talking about, but no, but it was the majority of people's first reason why. Sure. Sure. I mean, mine yeah. included. I would, that was the match I was looking so forward they're, to. They're, 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 but I care. So here about they are that. crowning their first ever champion. Mm-hmm. And it's not even everyone's primary match. It's not even most people's primary match. Yeah, I think they went with the wrong match personally. So I would have won so with Moxley and, uh, don't Moxley point at me Omega. like, I can't believe. No, but it's, like didn't there. I didn't. It's, it's, you see, you, you, you couldn't believe he didn't care about the main event. Because it's the main event. No, there's been plenty of times when the UFC card's on and the main event, ah, whatever, this third match, though, fuck, that's going to be cool. It's the people's main event is kind of the idea if, to call it this, that. If this sure. match was that, you know, that if this match was that important and people actually cared about it, you wouldn't hear people going, oh, yeah, Moxley's out. I'm not, I'm not sure. watching this. I'm not buying yeah, this paper. Screw. It's a good point. So anyway, no, I, I, I agree. Yeah, so yeah, what I was going to say also, though, is to counter Matt, what he was saying about, like, like, why would you go with Paige because Jericho's such an establishment as this? That's why. I feel like they're trying to build Paige. They're trying to build Hangman because Jericho would then, have... Then build would him. Have... They'll just give him the belt right away. Yeah. That doesn't... And that's going to turn the fans they on. They have built him. If you just shove well, him down on. your throat. Oh, my well, God. On. Nobody's no, going to no. turn on Paige. No, no, hold on. Uh, what, what... I've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm Okay, well, what I was going to say is it's a mistake the way they've been building Paige to do it. But I feel that's what they're trying to do. Because Jericho would have no problem losing to him. He's that kind of guy. He's like, whatever, I'll lose eight times in a row, doesn't matter, whatever. He's a pro like that. It's it's all good. Um, did they bring him in to be the established guy to be their first ever champion, blah, 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 blah. That's the good gimmick story to tell for Paige to knock him off and be that, and Jericho complains about it. That's classic kind of stuff for him that works. Paige seems like the guy they want to be the guy, and that's the weird thing because Cody's established there and the Bucks are established there and Omega's established there, but Paige never really got his thing. Like he was, I think he was ROH TV champion, I think. And yes. that was it. Like he never really ascended to anything huge. So that's, he's getting, this is his turn. It's almost what it feels like. He's going to be the one to go ahead and do that. Sick of and, people getting turns and being owed things. Give it to yeah. give it to the dude who's the legend. Don't, don't well, no, waste your first chance. This now, seems so anti, sorry, I'll, I'll wait till my turn. Sorry. But the funny thing is, I've seen, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll name drop Warden in our Discord. He's like, oh, if Jericho wins, it's such a hypocritical thing after stuff he said against Lesnar being champion. Oh, that was Beer Me, by the way. That's Was it Beer Me? Forgive yeah. me. I thought it was Warden. Yeah. Um, but that's such a heel <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's such a heel thing, though, because if Jericho says that, then wins it. Oh, I lose all respect for him. He didn't actually mean it. He's being a heel, and now he's yeah. doing what he... Like, of course. He doesn't see himself in that light either. Blah, 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 blah. It's all gimmick. Heel heat, baby. Yeah, it's all gimmick. If he says that, well, he means about other I, people, not himself. I, no, I, here, here's the thing about that comment. Um, when Chris Jericho... Ma- it, it all came from Chris Jericho making a comment on when Brock Lesnar won the money in the bank. It was, oh, look, right. they're really going to push the, the younger talent. Everyone was like, ha, ha, fuck WWE. You're right, Jericho. And now when it happens this way, it's like, wait a minute, what's... It just seems so weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's very. It's almost like a professional wrestler set a line on Twitter and yeah. they're all believing it is real. And it can't up. be. But you said that back in April. That was the thing you said. 
It's he's getting like ready he's for working his you. But it makes knew- him it makes him look like a good guy. Jericho? Yes. I don't know about that. Yes, it makes him look like a good guy. That's what I'm saying. All he has it's to do anti. Is off the fans and he's a bad guy again. Jericho yeah. can do that. They yeah. all yeah. agreed all with him. They say I- that and then counter it by actually winning the belt. Oh my god, he's such a hypocrite. Yeah, no shit. Have you heard of the man called Chris Jericho, the character yeah. that you've seen for 20 years? 100%. Welcome to the party. This is what we do. Mm-hmm. So, I I have no problem with him winning it. I could easily see that. I feel like they're going to go with Paige. I feel like he's going to flop. Because I've, I've, I've seen his wow. promos. Like, he's had promos where he comes out during these Young Bucks appearances and stuff in these matches, and he's talking to Jericho. It's not good. No, it's he, bad. He needs work. He's not good on the mic. He's like, it, it's something, it's real bland, real generic. It reminds me of Big Cass in a way where it's just like, there's, oh it's so you rough. Ma- you just can, made so many AEW fans mad right there. Cool. I'm not bad mouthing AEW. I'm bad mouthing Adam Page's well, promo. I'm saying skills. the fan, the fans. He's yeah. awesome in the ring. He's a yeah, lot he's of fun. I like ring. his moves. His reverse tombstone dead eye thing is a dumb move. I don't like it. It doesn't look good. But he's over. People like him. They like the music. They get out. It, it, it works. And I can easily see him being set up to be the one to take him down. But the other classic thing in wrestling, and the Rhodes boys know this, is the face that chases the champ. Yep. So if he does all that and still doesn't make it, that just spurs him on okay. to go more. And you got your team more over there. chasing that belt than he will just being handed but it right away. I really think he's going to take that and he'll be the first one to win. I think Paige is going to win it. And he shouldn't, all right. but I think he's going to do it. All right. Uh, Lee, who are you going with here? Paige or Jericho? Jericho's the smart move. Um, Paige just isn't ready for it yet. And I mean, if they, if they did put the title on Paige, that's kind of a dodgy uh, proposition this early on with your company. Uh, there's much more value in building Paige over like the course of a year to where he just finally topples Jericho or something. Like yeah, that. like, hell yeah, that's, that's what the, I would like to see. That's that's the smarter booking. I mean, if, mm-hmm. if they want to if they want to make wins and losses mean something like they keep saying and all this shit, then fucking build, fucking build a feud, build build a story because right now there still isn't really that much of a story because like like we've been saying like. They announce matches like three or four shows away, but they haven't really been building them in between these little bullshit shows that they've been doing that stay in the news. So once they got their TV, once they can start building angles, once they can start building their pay-per-views, then worry about getting him to the to where he needs to be mm-hmm. to be the the champ. But right now, Jericho can be a proven commodity. Commodity. He can be the fucking guy. And he should be the fucking guy right now. He's on fire right now with his promos. They're so good. He no, just he comes off as like a prick so goddamn well. He's one of the best yep. heels in the business oh, period right one now. One of yeah. the best of all time. Uh, he's I, he's I, I can agree every with little that. bit of respect that he has mm-hmm. as a I can, wrestler. That guy will go down as one of the best of all time. I can agree with that. Hey, that's the uh, that's the best in the business one day. Um, but anyway, oh, yeah. uh, here's my question though. I, there's so much that is, it makes sense for Jericho to win. I mean, obviously he's the veteran. He's the, he's the draw. He's all this stuff, but who, who is he going to rival? Who, who's he going to feud with? Uh, I mean, that doesn't really matter at this what? point. Wait, I think no. it, we just talked about building no, stuff and having, no, but okay. See, I don't look, see, look at the cards. I don't see Phoenix, Page, Pentagon, yeah. Cody Spears. Take your pick. They'll yeah, throw I don't see Paige them. is yeah, like a big draw, so I can see them no. just having Jericho go on a run while they're building some of their mm. uh, mid to upper card guys to be main event guys. Let Jericho just have a run, taking out some of the like minor baby faces, and J- Jericho. Go from could, there. Jer- don't forget, mm-hmm. Jericho could fucking they could put him the next few months. He beats Paige. Paige goes down a little bit. Build yeah. Paige up. Give him some wins and stuff like that. While you're doing that. Jericho just runs roughshod over he the beats fucking, Doobie I mean, Allen. He, be, he beats Doobie Allen, you know, and he beats fucking Cody. He beats the fucking Young Bucks in singles matches. Yeah. He, he beats all of them. He beats all the fucking elite guys and says, fuck you guys. I'm this company. You guys aren't this company. And then Adam Page becomes the chosen one at the end of the day who fucking comes back and beats him. Now, do you, uh, this, okay. Say, for example, you're an AEW fan. Do you hear how terrible that sounds? As an AEW no, fan. Yeah, they need to build up no, people, sounds, and Jericho's there great. to build. Yeah, I like that a lot. It, yeah. it, sounds, it sounds terrible to guys who don't know wrestling. I'm saying, yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, it I'm, sounds terrible as a fan <laughs> of the fanboys, but that's because you're booing Jericho. Good, mission accomplished. 
this yep. okay okay now I'm gonna come in with my pick here and for, for example I threw that out there because uh hangman has so many different opponents that he can go with that he already has so at least some history with Jericho only has really history with Cody I guess besides you know obviously Omega he fought at the last show but he's kind of been button heads with Cody you know during their little videos and stuff with that um so I can see Cody as a possible opponent if he wins you know to start the first world title like feud but Hangman has several people already lined up. Pac, MJF is another one. MJF isn't on the card. MJF could easily get involved here. They could do their own spinoff thing. But either way, I think that Hangman Page definitely has the uh, the future a, a better future run with the title than Jericho at the moment. Me just looking at it, you know, a couple days away from the show. Now, Don't Jericho forget, has the, Jericho has, the a few, has a built-in feud with all the elite guys, though. Like he, yeah, that's who not, he has. His not, he still really, wants his mainly, thank you. He's mainly Cody. That. It's mainly Cody. Yeah, but you can easily spin that to the others too. Yeah, right? Right? we're we're yeah. not thinking about one thing. I'm thinking of is who knows that who's to say they don't have like another Pac situation under their belt. They don't have somebody that can come out and just like a Punk or somebody that's a main event dude that can just come out and challenge Jericho right away to give Paige time. Mm-hmm. Like, like they that, don't. They gotta that, have a big debut. I think personally, think of, this and is, plus. The, the debut episode of the TV, there's no world title match. It's on episode two. So they're going to do something on the debut episode to pop ratings, to counter NXT, whatever you want to call it, to build toward that next match. So they've got that show. I know it's not a lot of build, but that's going to be something big because they're going to try to pull out all the stops. It's what you do. Yeah. And it could easily be someone where they elevate <laughs> someone to that spot or have someone come out there and do something crazy. It's easy to do that. Or Paige gets a rematch for all we fucking know. Like, right, yeah. like they, these are all possibilities. So, um, so back to back to who I'm picking here. Um, I'm I'm going page here because this is the epitome of everything AEW stands for in this match here. This is like, uh, this is AEW right here. This is what they're trying to do. This whole time, a hundred percent, it is everything no, that they've no, said. Like, they've if built it was up like to Cody smashing a fucking throne and sucking Triple H's dick in a feud. Yeah. Like, they no, I don't, I don't think that though. AEW is this like. It's only going to be for young guys. Well, they're not dumb. Like, they know that they can't just build off the young guys. They've got to use the veterans they have, especially with the money they paid for a Chris Jericho or a John Moxley. Like, they've got to use these guys and invest. They're not just going to bring in Jericho simply to just give rubs to all the elite members. That would be let's, so fucking weird. Let's not forget the old rumor that went back when it was supposed to be Page versus Pac, that that was a contendership match, and that... Page was supposed to win that and go on here to face the winner of Jericho and Omega. So that was kind of planned all along from what we heard, but Pac couldn't lose because of that Dragon Gate thing, blah, blah, blah. And the Battle Royal happened instead, and that was Page's win, etc. So this was kind of where they were going all along. Um, but Page versus Jericho is interesting because it could have been Page versus Omega just as easily, but Moxley was a thing. And yeah, it's... It seems obvious for Jericho to win it in that sense, but I really think Paige is going to do it, and I think they're misguided in that now. But Jericho probably should, because I... is he the older guy? Is he betraying the younger guy stuff? Kind of, but he can actually so. still go, too. That's yeah, Jericho's awesome. Nobody it's said... not like you're putting yeah. yes. someone slow in there. Look, yeah, people say, oh, it's older Jericho. Yeah, but Jer- that's still good. I'm not at so... all saying Jericho can't go because we've seen him go against Omega. No. I'm not saying you're saying that, but a lot of people are making the argument the older guy shouldn't be there. Sure. Yeah, but he's a good older he's a good older guy, like Daniels I mean, and stuff. Like, most these guys people are paying to see Jericho. He's so. fantastic. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, I'm definitely not taking any. Of course, I'm not taking anything away from Jericho. I'm just saying this is their big moment. From the moment I saw Hangman Page's first promo when he like at that again at that press conference yeah. when he said I am going to be the first world champion, all that stuff. It's it's yep. all been building up to this moment. Is he yep. supposed to cut a promo and go? Nah, I'm not really. Well. No, but I agree with you. I agree. That's the the idea, and that's why that's why they they could easily just take it all away and he loses. It's it's the the Bobby Roode James Storm thing where they'd go all and oh, don't you hate Jericho for that? Yeah, boo this man. I think they're serious about this, and I don't think that they're going to blow their load on the babyface getting the belt immediately. That's just remember smells of shit. You also have to remember this is their WrestleMania show as well. Not really. It's just uh, their debut show. Really? You can't really call their first big show their WrestleMania no, their show. First, what you, Double or Nothing was their debut pay-per-view. 
Nah, I don't know. It's not WrestleMania. WrestleMania. They called it all out. It's, been around for a while. It, it's all out. It's all in two. It's all out. It's the same. Yeah, it's just arena. a normal no. show to me. I don't. I don't see this. It as is, like, no, it is. Oh, it's, it's like so special. It's like, no, no, no. They, it's like they they are treating it kind of like Slam Anniversary WrestleMania. Like this is their anniversary yeah. of their. They treat it how they want. It doesn't mean it is that thing. Yeah. Though. No, but it. But they are. So. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, yeah. But I don't think they've done a card that's worthy of that. To be fair. But that's kind of how they were marketing for, it all. For along. their roster, I mean, this is for their roster. I mean, I can't see much of a better card. But besides having Moxley on it, of course, uh, having a much better card than this for what they have. I mean, yes, I would love to see MJF on it, and like, there's a couple other guys that I would love to see on here. But it's, yeah, I mean, for so, what they got, it's not that bad. Um, there seems to be a couple random matches, but I mean, overall, it should be a really good show. But at the end of the night, at the end of their bit, this is um, I, I know you, Matt Zion, you may not think of it this way, but they're treating all out at this is this is their like you know WrestleMania show. That's just how they're treating yep. it. They want to. I, I mean. At the end of the night, this is all elite. This is our thing. This is our biggest show. Hangman Page holding that title at the end to me is like the perfect the way they want to do this. Mm, but but that was not earned wanna... though. That's the price. It's not earned at all. It's just they're just gonna give it to Hangman Page because he's in the elite, and that's it. It's not well, earned. He needs if they, they really want people to get behind him and care, they gotta give him a, a, a heel to chase. I see what you're Why saying. Why don't you just blow your load on the very well, first show? Like that I wouldn't see, make any sense. I see but they also want to stick at the WWE and not just do what you expect. But they're I think they should in this case. Though. I think it's a, I'm like you said, Scott. I think no, it's a but huge I mean, that's, mistake I mean, if they don't. I mean, I mean, what you expect is page winning. I think that should not be the case. That's what I think. Like they should. Oh, of course, Page is going to win. He's our guy. He's, he's all elite. He's the title. Mm-hmm. Everyone expects it. Everyone's there. And can you imagine that audience? Like the booze Jericho will get when he wins. Yeah, I just you so that's right now. That's good. People will pay to see Jericho. I don't think people are paying to see Paige yet. Uh, best, not best yet. Of, One day. They will. They can. Yeah, yeah, not yet. Best thing about that story, that would actually make me interested in watching this fucking company if they actually had the fucking sense to be like, okay, so there's been all this PR bullshit for the longest time now about how uh, AEW's great and the elite and, oh, look at us. We're so awesome and all this shit and we're going to re- revolutionize wrestling. And then the fucking old guy Jericho fucking yeah, oh, I love that. <laughs> Not only that, but imagine if from our picks they all lose. Imagine if yeah. Spears wins, Pac wins, Jericho wins. I think it's the very likely. Luchas win. Yeah, exactly. I think Luchas I think are definitely build up the other people on mm-hmm. the roster right now, and not the the elite are already who they are. Fan yeah. of the elite, you you know them. You're not gonna boo them. You're not bored by them. They need to get over the other part of the roster because that that's one you thing know. I didn't like about the past two shows I went to. The elite just won everything both shows. That was very annoying. Like, I'm, yeah. if you're and, building a company, don't just put over you know your main five guys every show. They need to build the other roster. Part of that though was you're coming to see us. You're paying to see us. Hey, we won. We give you what you wanted. But the first thing, show. That's, the first but show. But it, it's like show time. four. It's like show four. Show five. Okay, let's. You can mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Want to see others win? Because if you don't. We don't believe they can, and we're not going to bother. Want, I want Jericho to get the win. I want him to get on the mic and go, you bunch of stupid marks. You thought that this this guy, as good as he is, was better than me. I'm the best of all time. And then they can just have music hit, debut somebody, have somebody come out. You have them brawl or something, and then you know cut it in chaos or something. That's, that's good a, enough that's for a, me, and then I have shows interest. That's the second time you brought in the debut. Who do you think is going to be debuting here? I'm not sure. I don't. I'm just saying in general. I mean, they don't even have to debut. They could just have somebody else on the roster come out and just just fucking MJF. Yeah, just have them stand toe to toe with them and build somebody else while Hangman Page kind of goes on a journey to to reinvent himself. I just I don't think he's there. I think he's good. He's got a great upside. Damn that theme is fucking fire, by the way. Again, but he's just I don't think he's ready to carry a company on his shoulders at all, especially no. because this is brand new. You you need a guaranteed asset that is not going to fuck this up that can represent the company can do the media days can do do the promos you know do everything he has to do and that is not hangman page and they would be making a huge mistake if they put the belt on him right away like that uh, so and in, for in your real quick asking zion here so yeah. if hangman page wins what are your what are you going how are you going to react to that i mean i'm just i'm not going to be following this company very closely anyway i'm just saying from my standpoint jericho is the money man and jericho is the one on the limit jericho is not going to be doing this for much longer he's getting up there and mm-hmm. hangman page has the next 20 years to wrestle so there's no reason to throw it on a dude who's going to be around forever you need to get as much mileage as out of jericho as possible and you put the belt on him immediately and then have him work 
with other guys, and that elevates them. If Paige is wrestling, you know, uh, freaking Doobie McStoner, I don't give a shit, that doesn't elevate <laughs> him. If Jericho wrestles him, that elevates him. you got to use your assets and your main event guys to get your other people up so that when Jericho does eventually retire and walk away, then they're not just stuck with their thumbs up their ass because they went with Paige and it didn't pan out, whereas Jericho... It will. It's guaranteed. They basically he is guaranteed money, and Page is iffy. Okay. And you know how you make Page better? You have him work with Jericho regularly. That's a yeah, big 100%. part of it. Hundred yep. percent. And it's the, the easy way to have. Like if Jericho wins and Page loses, Page can be the contender later. Well, who who is the one to make the debut? If someone makes a debut or someone else comes in, I could easily see MJF be the guy to come out there and attack because he's an elite wannabe or something. Or Only fucking Omega it's... can be like, I'm not done yet. Or Pac does, or Pentagon does, or Spears. It's easy to have anybody on the roster do that. Fucking Dustin came out there and be like, no, I should be the champion. I was thinking that. Like, have, have ways to have Rhodes them. come out and, and be like, you Dustin know, I don't, versus I don't Jericho? I mean, come on, guys. Yeah. This is so what? not AEW, though, I'm saying. <laughs> what? No, what, the, the what is AEW, AEW, though? Your whole. AEW like, is the elite and their boys. On... It's not I a think... youth movement, it's an alternative is what they make movement. It. It's, it's, it's whatever they make it. It's not, don't. Yeah. I think we need to get away from this assumption that. Well, it's all about being the elite. This whole, I think they need to distance themselves from the being the elite thing. And they're not going they to, but no, they need to get not. rid of the way from that as elite. much so, as yeah. humanly possible. I think we're looking at this as, see, the AEW, like this whole thing is so different than what we're used to and stuff. I think we're looking at this from a wrong. What do you keep saying I'm that? Just, it's not, though. That's the thing. They say it is, but it really is. Keep, is there an keep, aura around this company? Bob, why do I keep saying, saying? Why do I keep saying what? What, what part of my that this is so different from everything? It's not it's every other so I've ever seen. Thing. Yeah. I see a bunch they of guys. Con- no, motherfucker. I, I they, see a bunch. I see they, a they bunch say of guys it is, but it isn't. They who constantly. are running. I see a bunch of guys who are running an organization, running a promotion. And mm-hmm. like making themselves the focus of promotion. How is that just not everything we've seen for the last they, you know eighty years? They constantly, every show, they're out there talking about we are starting a revolution, we are changing things. And then they just different. do the same thing everyone's yeah. always done and put Some themselves bullshit. on top. They're not they're not re- they're not doing a revolution. They're saying they're doing a revolution. Okay. Big difference. WCW they, said they the same were, shit. We're going to do stuff differently. Okay. We're not going to do the same things, and then they, but they do the same things. Okay. But people want to say they're not because they say they don't. It's, it's frustrating. It, it really is. And yet you see guys like Moxie come out there and actually reinvigorate it and want to be there, and it's cool. Okay, that's, we, we can do a different kind of product with this, this kind of stuff. And then they go out there and do literal matches that are similar to stuff you see in WWE, but, oh, hate on them. They're number one. It's mm-hmm. frustrating. They're not, they're not different just because they say they are. They have to be different, and they can and, absolutely, but they're not. But I'm saying they're going to be doing that by giving the belt to Paige here. That that is them doing. Unless you're saying like, yes, they're giving themselves the wins and stuff by by yeah. being different is giving Hangman Page the future of the company, which they're all investing in. He is going to be their oh. guy that they've been building but up. Why is that, dude? Why I is that like something super different. I fully thought that running, we'd have Paige and MJF running the for Bullet the Club in New no. Japan a second ago. He was not running. Yeah. No, he how, was in the Bullet is, Club, not running. Uh, Bomber, how is how is bad booking something different that we've not seen in wrestling? <laughs> Wait, are you saying Hangman Page beating Jericho's bad booking? It's definitely bad booking right now. Wow. Yeah, it's not. It's not time. Wow. It's it's blowing your load way too early before everybody gets sizzle. Like you're just giving a you give them a steak with ketchup instead of waiting for that blue cheese to be on there. <laughs> the blue cheese with ke- oh yeah, my I god, don't. I, don't I don't even know what just happened. I I, no, I, I was man. with blue you. Blue cheese on a steak is the shit. I the moment that Paige had that press conference interview, I thought, wow, he's gonna be he will be the first one. Yeah. And they're going with it. And the problem is they don't really have the TV to have the audiences not agree with you or not they're just gonna go and hope for the best and i like i said i think it's probably the wrong idea but i can easily see why they're gonna go for it yeah. i honest to god thought during that battle royal when it was mjf and page they're talking about this is going to be our future feud for 20 years i'm like well that doesn't make sense though because they're not going to be fighting for the world title together one of them's eliminated yeah. if this was page versus mjf i'd have no problem with it it'd be a bad way to launch on national television but I honestly would have had no problem. Page wins. You're good. But they're going to build an MJF. You can do other things with him. It's fine. It's cool. Jericho, I mean, he's paid to lose. I can easily see it. But it that's the perfect way to be like, look, we're not going to do everything you expect. We are going to be alternative. We are going to be different. And Jericho wins it. 
because the stat just fucks everything over and makes us look, oh, no, he pulled one over on us. Ah. You see, the real alternative to the WWE right now is good, solid booking. And what we've been talking about for the last 15 minutes or so is here's what they should do because this is actually good traditional wrestling booking. I know the little fucking fans of the performance artists out there (laughs) don't want to hear that shit. But when it comes down to it, you buy into fucking classic wrestling stuff. You don't buy into this frilly, fancy bullshit that, that doesn't pass the seat. I, I see what you're saying. But that's like what things are turning into, though. That's what I'm saying. So, so, okay, say that again. Like this, like what I don't I don't want to say the exact words that Lee said, but the way things are t- going in wrestling just in general are this direction. The way that he just like said, you know, is not good. That is just, uh, it sucks for us because we're, you know, we're more used to what we like. That is the way things are like going though. That's the direction things are heading. I I agree with you a hundred percent. Yeah. Cody is too big on like old school booking though, to just be like, we're just going to give it to Paige. Like Cody. Well, he's not the one making the term. Remember though, they've got Anderson, they've got Malenko, they've got the old school guys booking there. So there is that aspect of it. Doesn't mean they're listening to it. Also, I, again, I don't know how much you guys watch of the like the roads to the shows and the behind the scenes stuff. Well, then that that may be why you guys you guys may see this a little different. Than me. It doesn't mean I'm I'm seeing it right and you're seeing it wrong. It just maybe why we're seeing it different because they pointed out on the like the young bucks talked about like at double or nothing all that kind of stuff. They're like we fought to lose. Like we tried not to lose. Uh, sorry, we tried to lose that match. We didn't want to win that match, which it's stupid that they air this stuff. I know. I, I'm I'm with you on that. Ugh. But they talked so wait, about they weren't allowed to lose their own match. Tony Khan own- is the Tony, other people are making the decisions. They're not 100 percent. They're influencing them. Yes, they oh, they said they boy. they Age said they so fought winning. They said they fought to lose that <laughs> match. Yes. That's so dumb. Now, Paige is covers. absolutely. Oh, also, here's the fun part. How much of that was a work? No, again, yes, I, I still in the bottom line they, is things. I they, hate that they, they broadcast show that stuff. Kenny Omega right. doing an interview and getting interrupted with the news about Moxley. And then they showed a behind closed doors meeting with Cody and the Bucks it's a trying weird... to figure out a replacement. All of that was not real for all those people who think, oh, they actually filmed it. No. It's a weird... Oh, they they pulled Omega, they pulled Omega in, filmed the thing and said we're going to interrupt partway through to give you the news blah blah blah. We'll make yeah. it look real. That's how they fucking do it. It's not real. So when I see stuff like that, oh, we fought to lose. Exactly. Okay, it's... that's also part. Like that's also part of your fucking story. It's so many layers of story on top of layers on it's top of layers to work the marks. It, but it's unnecessarily so because I, at I the end of it, people just want to see the elite win. But they're cool with it if they lose. Like it doesn't. This they don't is... have to win. This is what's it, what this is what why it's hard for me to decipher everything because one video clip they'll they they give the stuff like yeah no Tony Khan made us win all this kind of stuff like behind the scenes shit that we should never see and then the next like clip they're like oh yeah uh, lucha we're going to kill you and all that like it's like it's so jar like it's you don't know and this is why I have a hard time you know getting completely on board which I hope it wins me over at some point, but it's such a hybrid style of we're going to tell you, show you the behind the scenes stuff, but then we're also going to show you the kayfabe stuff. And it's a weird mix that I just don't like, but that's just me. I hate, I hate, I agree with it. Artists. Well, Cody in that thing even <laughs> said like, do, do we got, we lost Moxley. What do we do? Well, do we make the world title triple threat with Omega? No, that's a WWE move. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you, Cody. You never would have said that you. if it was off camera. You fuck. No. And, oh, it's WWE move. Yeah. The company has been successful for how long? That made all the money? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to copy the people who are good at things. Even though you might not like the product, they know what they're doing. You might want to try some WWE moves there, you fucking show hack. Just take the best portions of WWE. Don't just like, oh, we're just going to do the total opposite. I mean, guess what? That's dumb. That's a recipe for disaster. Take the best aspects and combine with yours. Like, if you want to learn about how to recover from things and deal with things on the fly, Cody fucking knows better than anybody yeah. Uh, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe Dustin about how WWE operates and he's able to work that stuff out. So for them to be like, no, that's a, mm-hmm. that's a, that's a damn move. No, yeah. they figure something else out and they make a cool match like AJ Styles and Finn Balor. They know what they're doing. So for this, Pac and Omega, yeah, that's cool. You didn't need to take a dig at them, but it's cool too. So, uh, that's that's what's driving me nuts about that stuff. So anyways, yes, uh, it's time to wind this guy down here, this show. Um, episode 100. Um, I, I know we didn't focus. On, we've primarily been, you know, WWE and stuff, and we haven't really focused on a lot of WWE. But this is what's coming out, you know, this weekend. So I know we did uh, focus primarily on yeah, AEW. I don't really um, want to talk about WWE anyway. Okay. So well, there you go. Um, 
But I guess guys, it was refreshing not to talk about WWE. That was actually yeah. kind of nice. So I kind of dig. I hope that they make it just get a different company topics every once in a while. Yeah, episode I mean, episode episode two hundred. We'll be talking about uh, Bray Wyatt's new. I think uh, we'll promotion. all be dead by the time that one happens. <laughs> the mean yeah, fiend hey, fed. man. Who Can we who, put who ourselves episode in one... the death pool? <laughs> yeah. Who at episode one thought we were going to be talking about you know Cody Rhodes fucking promotion? Oh yeah, man. That's the that's yeah. the fun thing about wrestling is even when it's on its lowest slumps, it always can shift in a matter of moments and all of a sudden be interesting again because it's just yeah. a constant. It's such a carny thing that it never stays the same. Yeah, I mean, there's always something to talk about. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. But guy, I mean, uh, for those of you that hung out this long, uh, for those of you that I don't. If there's anybody that's like been around from the beginning, like episode one that's been listening, like uh, message us, like hit us up on Twitter at Jabba Radio. Let us know um, and just watch what your thoughts were. Hope you've enjoyed the run and everything that we've had. I keep saying like it's over, but, you know, what we've done so far and everything uh, and just let us know. Thank you so much. First of all, that's all I got to say. Do you guys have anything to say to the uh, to the fans out there for 100 episodes? Uh, Rab, let's get you out there first. What do you got to say to the uh, the peeps out there? Fuck them. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to start with you, didn't I? I had Jesus. to start with you. Okay. Oh, I, look. Okay. Look. Especially early on in the shows, I was specifically told at some point to stop saying, "I don't understand why anyone listens to this show." No, you should say that as long as you want. I was baby. About to say. So the, I, I don't remember. If that was me, I don't even remember that. I was told by you. Mm. Bomber. Mm, okay. Just yeah. stop saying. I like to that, see that you know, writing. Stop constantly talk, talking shit about everyone who listens. <laughs> they know that you love them. Maybe. Mm. No, I only like the. Uh, I was gonna say the five of <laughs> peanuts not here. <laughs> yeah, peanuts not here. Yeah, I love. I love doing this show. I know I'm not always on, but it's uh-huh. because I'm just a very busy person these days. Mm. Same reason Rami is not on. One hundred percent. Yeah. Though his yeah, busy, I would, if I could, I would do it. His, yeah. his his busy is public. My busy is private. Just because mm-hmm. we have different careers. You want to swap? Sure. Swap, no swap spit. <laughs> no interest. <laughs> y'all, y'all keep eating that shit, bro. <laughs> okay. And, but uh, I love doing this show. Uh, I hope we do another hundred. Uh, we'll it's, dead, it is often the highlight of my week when I get to talk to you guys and, and okay. do this stupid show. And yeah, you know, thanks for everyone who listens because we, that means we get to keep doing it. All right. Uh, I guess we're, we're just going to go around the group here, around the table here. Uh, Lee, we're going to go from, you know, we're just going to go to you next. What do you got? What do you got to the fans? Don't sound so excited about it. I'm just um, saying, I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid after what he said. I'm afraid to hear what you have to say next. Well, I'm That's just why. Glad, I'm just glad that uh, for this last hundred episodes, I've been able to entertain our fans. Uh, I, I know I'm a big draw for this uh, show, and I'll continue to be a big draw for you guys out there that really believe in me. Uh, all the little uh, uh, Leonites out there who are uh, big fans of things I do on this show and. Uh-oh, it cut out. That's how, that's it. Uh, next person. The, All right. There it is. <laughs> I, guess, it. <laughs> I guess Matt Zion, what do you got to say for the peeps out there here on Jabba Radio? Yeah. Oh, I always appreciate the support and everybody. And uh, even though, like, I've been gone, uh, that was not by design or choice. Oh. That just ends up being, uh, wait, you there, Lee? Uh-oh, I don't think you can even hear us anymore. Lee? Uh, it was not by design. So uh, I'm going to try my absolute best to make it what I can. Uh, life just basically what killed it was live streaming for me because I that's that's my bread and butter now for making money. And that takes up the most time. So, uh, But I'll try my absolute best because it is getting interesting. I am curious to see where this AEW, uh, WWE dynamic is going to go, even if Vince is being a big old fucking D-bag uh, trying to take them down a notch. Classic Vince. Uh, but... I think it's going to make it interesting. I think even though AEW is not going to really be a threat, it is going to make it fun when people jump back and forth because that shit is definitely going to start in the next year or two if AEW can hold on. And that's mm-hmm. that's good for WWE. That's good for AEW. That's good for the fans. Uh, it's one of the things that's you know hurt WWE is the fact that they don't have a pool of people to pull from that can end up being recognized from another national TV product. So that's cool. Maybe it'll get me back into it. And uh, to be fair, WWE has better lately uh i have enjoyed especially raw has been a lot of fun i haven't been able to watch smackdown although i want to 
Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my absolute best to get around. And thank you for sticking around for 100 episodes. So, sweet. Here's to another 100. Um, first of all, so there have been several fans that asked if you quit the show. Do you want to put that little... No, okay, never. I go. would never. There's no reason to ever quit. I love doing it. So when I, there you it's go. a matter of priorities. And I have to do sure. the things that make me money oh, and pay my rent before I can do the things that are more so for fun. So that's why. Good. As long I'm never, just, never done with the show. Just so they know. Because everybody... Like, we always get people asking all the time. So Yeah, of course. And it's totally understandable because I don't really talk about it too much. Mm-hmm. I don't really have time. But no, I'm, I'm 100% on Java radio for life. As long as I can make it work time wise, never, never going to quit. There you go. Uh, Scott, you, you debuted episode. What was it? 23 or 26? 26. I think it was 26. Yeah. So since 26, man, what do you got to say to the, uh, the peeps out there here? listening to us. Uh, similar to what rab was saying, like definitely appreciate it and like, look forward to it. It's always fun. Um, it's kind of funny. I think I've missed like one or two <laughs> since the start of that. You do have um, the best attendance. I'll yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, but no, it's a lot of fun. I, full disclosure, was trying to do a wrestling podcast with a friend a year or so prior to that, mm. but he kept flaking out. I'm like, fuck, I want to talk wrestling. Come on. So this was awesome to be able to do so. So that was a great, great fun thing. And it's fun to just have opinions on the internet and have people listen to it. So, yeah, it's great. Cool, cool. Uh, well, I guess Peanut would basically just say... Uh some random things and talk about how his mic's not working. So we'll just pretend mm-hmm. like that happened and, and how great he is. Don't forget. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Original host, by the way, for those of you that are relatively new peanuts started out as the host, go back and listen to those first couple episodes. It's a little rough and it's, it's a little bit torturous, but I still, I, I still enjoyed it. Now he's passed out in a drunk tank somewhere. He's probably going to get, <laughs> he's probably going to get picked up in the uh, McDonald's parking lot. Uh, but yeah, he, uh, he probably had a third blue moon, so he's gone. Yeah, he's done. Oh. He's yeah, done. he's done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I just want obviously I want to thank you guys. Uh, glad Matt Zion brought Lee and Scott in. Uh, you know, uh, that was a big, I think, turning point in the show. We've been, we were, it was, a, it was a pretty big get, I think. Yeah. yeah, that was our biggest get, you know, mm-hmm. our biggest. Uh, oh, you know, oh the show would not exist without Lee or Scott. There's uh, no way no, we would have made it to 100. That is a 100%. that is a very accurate statement. So first of all, thank you, we, you guys. We for that. barely made it to twenty without Lee. Dude, it what was, was it eighty two <clears throat> where Lee and I like hosted it with Peanut? Yeah, uh, something happened. Like, I even awesome. forgot. Something yeah. happened to me. I couldn't get on either. And yeah, yeah, um, you missed one of those exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, why Scott and I get like the uh, the the big share of the Patreon dollars. Every yes, month, guys, you get ah. you get eighty percent. So you guys Wait. get thirty thirty cents each. Uh, by we the get way. what? Yeah, eighty yeah, percent. Yeah, that's what we'll give you guys. My two, I was only oh. my two cents. <laughs> yeah, you'll get you your two... renegotiate your contract. Pal. Yeah, but that's a good yeah. point, guys. For real, uh, those of you out there listening and stuff, and one we we're tr- I'm going to be expanding more stuff on YouTube soon. I'm working on some more uh, trivia stuff. I we're going to do more best in the business stuff. Uh, I want to yeah. bring some other things in. Damn right. Um, also, that's to, uh, for you guys, too. I, you know, obviously our schedules are hard sometimes, but hopefully we can get all of our cast guys on to do some more, you know, g- get involved in these new shows. But uh, support us on Patreon, please uh, just search Jabber Radio on Patreon um, and just throw in what you can. It, it is greatly appreciated. And, you know, these guys need their cut of at least more than 30 cents, hopefully. Got to gotta give us our exposure dollars. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, uh, for just my last thing is just, I know it's dumb, but just or lame, but just thanks, guys, for real. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope mm. we uh, keep the uh, keep having a lot more fun in the future. So, cheers. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. cheers. Yeah, die, Dory, die. Everybody, raise a blue moon for Peanut. Come on, David Flair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we need sponsored by Blue Moon now. Peanut's got to get this done. He's got to sign yeah. on the dotted line. But all right, guys. Uh, hopefully, we see you in two weeks.